I stick expletives in the holes in my thought process when I speak. My friends stick to their guns, they got a bunch in the woods of Vermont till the end times come. But Saturn says he's gonna learn to live. As if the world wasn't gonna end in I admire. gonna do my best to drink coffee in the morning and live as if I didn't feel lonely and hopeless and helpless to save myself from the world where I live and tonight when I dream it will be that the junkies spent all the drug money on community gardens and collective housing Woo! and the punk kids who moved to the have started filling potholes and collecting garbage to prove we don't need governments to do those things and I'll wake up burning Times Square as we sing throw your hands in the air cause property is robbery
song that is on Top 40 Country Radio right now. Yeah! Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it provides context in this case to say that the protagonist of this particular song is a woman. And uh, this song is fucking awesome. Nice. Wow! Road 233 under my feet. Ain't nothing on this road but a little old me. I got two miles till he makes bail. And if I'm right, we're headed straight to hell. Cause I'm going home, gonna load my shotgun, wait on the porch and light a cigarette. If he wants a fight, well now he's got one. He ain't seen me crazy yet. Slap my face and then he shook me like a rag doll. Don't that sound like a real man? I'm gonna show him what a little girl's made of. Good powder and lead. And now it's 2 a.m. Another sense packing. You can hear him come like a whole five wind. Oh, he pulls in the drive, and the gravel flies. Oh, but he don't know what's waiting here this time. Cause I'm going home, gonna load my shotgun, wait on the porch and light up a cigarette. He wants a fight, well now he's got one. He ain't seen me crazy. responsibility and applying that idea to household chores. We're kids building models of a world that we might want to live in. We're sorting feelings in our stomachs. Is this liberation or starvation? But have we made it anywhere at all if the dishes are never done? We can't live without dishwashers. How would we live without cops? And so you're asking me, who does the dishes after the revolution? Well, I do my own dishes now. I'll do my own dishes then. You know it's always the ones who don't. Who asked that fucking question? <laughs> so I don't believe in God, but I'm also not an atheist. You know the universe is chaos, but chaos plays favorites. And you know lately I've been thinking about how I love Jesus Because Jesus, he was a dirty homeless Hippie peace activist And he said, drop out the fun God To anybody who would listen While turning water into space bags Turning water into space Thank you. 
Hey, I gotta turn the camera on. <coughs> oh, that was a good one. I've never done that before. There we go. <coughs> oh, jeez. No, I don't want $30 off YouTube TV, YouTube. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> that fucking YouTube. <laughs> You asked for it, I gave it to you. Um, there's secret commands. There's secret commands. Not just that. You guys already know about that. There's secret commands. Mm -hmm. I transferred everything um, over to Leoran board and rebuilt the chat bot in Leoran board and uh, the weekend I spent a lot of weekend oh, doing <laughs> doing shit over the weekend. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Um, yeah. So there's uh, and there's not just those. There's a whole. There's a whole thing. There's a there's a way to find them too. Not only are there secret commands, there's a way to find them. It's a little So Yeah. Hey there, Squiddy. Brass tax. Are liberals left? No. Nah. Classical liberals? Yes. American liberals? No. Amber is a hundred percent its effort. It's a hundred percent effort. You really shouldn't do it. Commands will get you the default commands, but you'll notice you don't see certain things in that command list. Hey there, L. Um, you don't see fuck off Hitler, which won't even appear in the secret commands list. Um, I don't think at least. Let's see. Now they will. Red finally paying attention. <clears throat> but it's not that simple. <laughs> uh, one of you motherfuckers might be able to crowdsource that, though. The hive mind might know. The hive mind. The individuals probably won't, but the hive mind might know. <laughs> you think I left behind the ANCAP auto triggers? Mm -mm. <laughs> those are still there too, my friends. Those are still there too. <laughs> Most assuredly, those are there. <laughs> And gap. In fact, it's even more liberal now. Um, it, I had to strictly define the terms for the last one. Now that I'm in control of it, dude, anything and cap triggers it. <laughs> it, it's, it is. Uh, secret, secret. I got a secret. <laughs> um. No, red, red got the red, red, uh, red found the door, but there's a passcode to the door. So if you're looking for the secret commands, Red's already Red's already found the fucking trail. You need to follow what Red's been doing. Hey there, Fratus. How's France? Yeah, Red is on the right track. Just hasn't got there yet. Hey, Viva. <clears throat> oh. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff actually I added. Like there's a bunch of stuff. I love watching it. I love watching the process. I love seeing how some of y'all motherfuckers <clears throat> actually think. Um, 
Oh God. It just, it's brutal. It's brutal seeing it when it's close. Um, anyway, we have to think. Don't worry, Kvass. Somebody's do, somebody else will do the heavy lifting on this, Kvass. Just don't don't worry about it. <laughs> they'll they'll reveal the toys list to you. Um, <laughs> there's there's no there's no don't even worry about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so. <laughs> red. red. That's a good try, Ed. Red. It's a really good try, actually. That I might actually just left field it. No. <clears throat> Sterner. <laughs> this, this, this common fruit tree. What common fruit tree disproves the labor theory of value? Sterner. <laughs> it's, just, it sort of is, isn't it? In the end, at the end of the day, isn't Sterner the answer to every question? <laughs> Like, you know, in a very odd way. It's kind of sterner. Uh, <clears throat> sterner, the great exception. <laughs> Red, I, I, Cupcake, you were so close for so long, and Che takes one swing at it and fucking nails it. Yes, it's apple. Of course it's apple. This common tree, an apple tree. Not an apple's tree, an apple tree. This common tree disproves the labor theory of value. This is a... This is a reference to this fucking it, one that idiot Chud, who was in chat arguing with Swede. Isn't that corrupt? That over over apple trees being this element that disproves the labor theory of value due to the the uh, interpretation of labor within this context. And so yeah, it was it was this most insanely reductive, bizarre Ladies, question uh, conversation he got into. Radical. Since I owe Kai a few favors from back in the old days. Uh, shit, I probably shouldn't talk about that. Wait, why are you still recording? Fine, fine. Just be sure to edit it out. Anyways, as I was saying, well, this is Alex Jones, and I just wanted to teach the proletariat a few things about anarchism. Anarchism isn't about chaos. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Anarchism is about the people. It's about solidarity and mutual aid. It's about removing unjust authority and hierarchies. We should all be anarchists. The world would be a better place. Now, I'm going to apologize again to all those parents whose lives I ruined because I'm such a douchebag. Jones, out. All right, guy, this has got to make us even for that uh, incident you helped me out with. Ah. Uh. Reminds me of that scene from Morbius. Is it Morbin time, Exel? Is it Morbin time? See, this is a this is a meme by fucking like the youngest Gen Zers that I actually get behind. It's completely bizarre and bullshit. I absolutely adore that. I love the more it's Morbin time meme. That's hilarious to do that just to do to to like convince a studio that we really liked your movie as a lull, and just be like, oh yeah, that movie was fucking great. We want a second one. And like if Sony, Sony could make a fucking second Morbius movie, even though fans are like, dude, nobody wants this fucking movie. This movie's garbage. <laughs> fucking sheer. This is some transcendent postmodernism. This really is. This is some transcendent po uh, postmodernism writ large. Are you kidding me? When society gets in on the, the, the meme. When like all of a fucking like a segment of the whole of society is like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's just fuck with Sto Sony movie, uh, Sony pictures. Why not? It's Morbin time. Mm -hmm. The whole thing's hilarious. Yes, it's not a meme. People just love Morbius so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was there was no uh, Avatar um, and the Last Airbender movie either. That's another one I, I wholeheartedly support. I'm not even a fan. I think that's the greatest thing ever. The fandom just decided. They're like, mm -mm, we're just going to gaslight everybody. There was no movie. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Um, I liked Morbius. I mean, yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but that's not that's not here or there. Uh, I was hoping Morbius was going to be good, as I do quite like Morbius's story from the comics. Um, <laughs> Kai, I don't know what you were talking about. Everything I'm saying regarding Morbius is entirely science. Fact. Fact. Yeah. Fact. You just declare it so. Fact. Like <laughs> it's Morbin time. What the fuck is on there? That this is sticking to. It's literally just condensation. Holy shit, because it's so cool. Wow. The, uh, it, this is a little mini aluminum pizza pan that was given out as swag at the food and beverage convention here when Cassidy and Bobby were in town. And so, yeah, it's super conductive. Like, this thing's cold. But it keeps sticking to the glass. I'm like, what's, what's sticky that's on here? There's nothing. It's just condensation holding it. It's perfectly smooth. They meet up. It's great. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm gonna morb. <laughs> Uh, it's not just a meme, Dad. Morbius is my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> I totally, I get, I get it. I get it. I'm right there. I was there with it. I've never had a moment. I'm like, yeah, you know what? It's funny. I get it. It's Morbin time. Fuck it. Fuck it. The movie's, the movie's garbage. Um, have you seen the Proud Boys being upset that Trump doesn't want them at his rally? Um... No, no, I haven't. I it, I was trying to think of like what's the last Proud Boys story I heard, but no, I don't think I heard that one. That is amusing though. That is amusing because he's he, he's Trump. He's Trump. He's racist. Don't get me wrong, but he's not that kind of racist. He's 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 more like I don't want him in my properties. Racist, right? But. He's not like Proud Boys fucking in the street marching. Look, Trump doesn't give a shit about anything other than himself enough to march in the street. And even then, it's a little iffy, right? He ain't, he ain't doing too much marching. Uh, <laughs> just put it that way. From, you know, door to thanks, Rumble. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, that makes sense. He, of course he distanced. Uh, Alex Jones didn't know how high he climbed. After all, he swore he saw Crooked Hillary climb the Nevada mountains. She must be up to evil hours. Uh, she must be up to evil. Hours and hours of climbing. The man red like crab dre and drenched in sweat. The cave he thought she entered. A skinny local writing notes. Alex began to stutter. D -d 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 do, do you know how to get down? Kai replied, I'll help you down if you owe me one. Karina, those are getting more and more complex. I like it. It's a good little. It's a good little uh, writing prompt for you. Um, hey there, Beast. Uh, I've had Morbius on the third monitor playing on a loop since it came out. Said Amrus. Man, that condensation reminded me of that scene from Morbius. Okay, so somebody asked. Um, do I want to see Morbius? Um. Yeah, 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 it was, uh, it was not binary. Do you want, I want to see it? That's the question. Oh, um, a hundred percent. Yes. Oh yeah. I want to see the movie, but, um, for all of the right reasons, right? Like I'm not going into it as comic book nerd. I'm not even familiar with the Morbius character. I'm like fucking tertiary, tertiarily aware of that character, but you know, I love a good story, and if you could give me a good movie, I don't give a shit where the origin's from. It's, my problem with Marvel isn't Marvel Comics. I like Marvel Comics. I like DC Comics. Uh, I'm not a huge comic guy, but I've, I've always enjoyed their properties and the stories that come out of them. Um, I, I, my problem with the Marvel movies is they're Marvel movies. They're, they're action superhero movies. They're highly formulaic, and that just, it's just, there's only so much, I have so much room in my world for that. Um, one occasionally, and I, I prefer Doctor Strange to all the other stuff. Like that's that's my taste in Marvel movies is like Doctor Strange over the other stuff. Um, so like, but yeah, dude, Morbius apparently is a shit show, and it's Jared Leto in a shit show, which is always great. 
I, I, yeah, a hundred percent. I want to see it. Yeah, for sure. All right, this is the Proud Boys thing. I'm sure. I'm running behind, as it were. He's the clean my toilet up, or I'll cut your pay again, racist. Yeah, there you go. Hundred percent beast. He gets it. Um, he's not. Ra <laughs> he's the. I'm not racist, but racist. Exactly. He's not the march in the street with a fucking tiki torch, racist. He's he's the fucking you know. All right. You're one of the good ones, Johnson. So fucking, you know, okay, all right. I got a great joke for you guys. You'll love it, Johnson. You're one of the good ones. You know, that's how that goes. Like, he, you know, he's, he's one of the, all right, huddle around guys. I got a great racist joke for you, Johnson. You'll love it. You're one of the good ones, Johnson. We like you, you know, it, it, he's that kind of racist. <laughs> uh so recently, the European Court of Human Rights has rejected the complaint of a person born intersex um, and assigned female at birth, which they estimated constituted mutilation, um, has rejected. Okay. Um, and tried to sue the doctors who performed treatment in France. Apparently, this decision has triggered medical legal conversations on the topic on the grounds of bioethics. <sighs> Way to, way to just like let all of the air out of the room, Fertiz. You feel that, Fertiz? You feel that energy shift? That's all you. That's all your fault. Look at that, Fertiz. This is what France does to a motherfucker. No. Uh, <laughs> Dude. Did you fuck with a person? Yes? You fucked up. It, it, this is, this is, we could get, we could get really far into it, right? Like, and bioethics does. But at the end of the day, did is what you did necessary to have been done for the survival of this person? No. Okay, cool. Let me go talk to this person then. Do you feel like irreparable harm was done to you? Yes. Why? Explain it to me. They will give the explanation we all know is coming. This isn't complicated. You did something unnecessary and they are, they are irreparably affected by your decision. They had no method of consent in this conversation. You removed their autonomy and what you did was unnecessary. So it's not difficult to weigh this. It really isn't. But hey, what the fuck do I know? <clears throat> I'm not a medical legal specialist. Which is probably why I, I can see my way through that pretty fucking quickly. <clears throat> um, the I don't care if you're burnt in an oven and the oh let's push the xenophobia for political capital not racist. Yes, yes. See, see, yeah, you y'all y'all completely understand what you're getting at. What I was getting at with him. Um. Are there still people on Earth who haven't seen Morbius yet? <clears throat> oh, Amorous. Can we watch it on Bad Movie Night? Yeah. Um, you have Disney Plus. I'll stream it if I have to. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll figure it out. Like you know. What is this? Okay, it is. I just wanted to check that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll figure it out, Karina. <clears throat> um right now at least while they've got they've oh well whilst kenobi is running that's the that's yeah yeah, yeah that's the new one right <clears throat> i saw um, i saw hayden christensen and ewan mcgregor they were apparently doing the press rounds uh for the the, the kenobi show um and i like there was one of those moments uh, I mentioned this on last night's call or something like that when we're doing good movie night. <clears throat> um, that Hayden remembered the name of the guy who had the cart who handed out the like repaired. He would come around with like a trolley and like fix their lightsabers. Cause apparently the lightsabers were like aluminum tubes and they would literally smack the shit out of them. And apparently Hayden Christensen was notorious for really going after it. 
And like, yeah, they were talking about like they were having a trip down memory lane and fucking Ewan's like, and there was that guy that pushed the cart that like had that repaired our lightsabers and fucking Hayden just looks at him and he goes, Thomas. He's like, wait, yeah, Thomas, right? Yeah, Thomas. Yeah, Hayden remembered the guy's name. He's like, yeah, that's Thomas. He fixed our lightsabers. I was like, you know what? It, that's the sort of shit that you can sort of see behind the character of a person for a moment, you know, pushing your cart in when nobody's watching, right? There's, there's certain things in society that it doesn't matter what level of human being you are, whether you're a CEO or whether you're a janitor or, you know, a, an intern, there's certain things that people do as human beings that you can point to and be like, all right, well, that person's not a terrible human being. And that's one of those things that I was just like, ah, that's good on him. Good on him. Um, have you seen the new Doctor Strange? It's what I saw with Amanda last night. No, I haven't seen the new Doctor Strange. Like I said, there's a, there's a, total amount of like Marvel time in my world <laughs> and and I'm I'm the Doctor Strange type like I, I enjoy that aesthetic I like uh, I like sigils and shit like that um I just aesthetically they please me circles with weird runes and characters and shit in glowing oranges and white blues and shit like that I'm a sucker for um the Atlantis movie the uh the uh, lost Atlantis movie the animated one with like Michael J. Fox and all those crew in it, that aesthetic, that glowing blue white sigils with weird characters that you can't decipher. I'm a sucker for that aesthetic. I think it's the coolest shit ever. <laughs> I want to be Jared Leto, but I don't know if I like Jared Leto. <laughs> he seems kind of fucking. Mm. Um, all the uh, all the good ideology just heads to random executions via background noise and domestic terror attacks. At least there aren't any among among amongst militias, or running or any militias running amok, I suppose. Um, kind of a big John Malkovich gamble. Oh, John Malkovich, John Malkovich, and um, oh God, who am I thinking of? Oh, it's going to come to me in a bit. Either way, I'll circle around. These are not spoilers, but facts about the movie. Easily the goriest Mar Marvel film out there right now. Comedy is much bleaker, but still has Marvel silly. It's got actual scares and very gothic horror twist on the Doctor Strange setting. Now I'm there for it. Um, Cool. Thanks for the heads up, either way. Hey, you asked what's new with my fucked up country, and I looked it up. Don't blame me for it. Obliging you. Oblige you. Hell yeah, bodily autonomy. <laughs> Morpheus from the Matrix versus Morbius, who would win? Um, Morpheus, right? Because if M Morbius is working within the Matrix, is Morbius existing in the real world or in the Matrix? Because if the Ma if Morbius is just still hooked up to the Matrix, and ooh, it could be, but he, mm, we'd have questions. That's a comic book nerd. Fucking, what's up, Dig? Um. Damn it, France. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's why they had the, the prequels of the best lightsaber battles that were mis more mis visceral. Yeah, dude, they fucking went after it. A um, bunch of people haven't seen it. Good on you. Uh, Doctor Strange reminded me of Inception on Acid. Uh, a lot, it's a lot of the yellow blues versus red color palette wise. Leto has a cult and a huge following amongst teenage girls. Is that where he comes from? I don't see... I... I, I, I... Kropotkin, um, Kropotkin, you were the, the, the Morpheus versus Morbius question, right? Like, I, I, it depends if like Morbius is inside the Matrix or not. Because if Morbius is inside the Matrix, Morpheus automatically wins because he can transcend that to some degree. Um, but if Morbius is some sort of like deformation of self due to an understanding of being in the Matrix, and then it's sort of a, I don't know, question. That I would, I would hand that off to a, 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 a higher grade nerd than myself. I'd be like, I'm not... I'm not comic book enough. Like I could discuss the Matrix side of it, but I couldn't discuss the the Morbius side of it. So uh, if they were on equal footing on the, like a reality level, I I don't know. That would have to be some higher nerd than I. Um, 
wasn't Leto with the island cult-like gatherings? I, I don't, I don't know. Hold on, let's. Okay, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Jesus, he is creepy, isn't he? That's not. Hmm. <laughs> If somebody looked at me like that, I, 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 yeah, Manson reincarnate. Like I'm, I'm not getting good vibes off of him. Remember, I was three for three. We had the, the, the kitty diddler, the serial killer, and the fucking genocidal maniac, and all three of them I put in that bottom tier, like automatically. Like I was looking at them, and I'm just like, I don't trust you. You don't, you don't register right. This motherfucker don't register right. <laughs> he got that look. Uh, all right, so <laughs> here's a Reddit. We'll jump back to the Proud Boy thing. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. He thinks he's Jesus. He thinks he's Jesus. 100% he thinks he's Jesus. Holy shit, he thinks he's Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, look, y'all. Young, impressionable women. <laughs> uh, yeah, Squiddy. It looks like he has, like, an, e an actual cult. Like, an actual thing. Uh, <clears throat> holy fuck. Rotten Tomatoes has thrown this poor film into the abyss. Yes. Um... Favorite part about Kenobi is showing why the lightsaber cells are simpler than originals. Ben's lack of training physically in this time made him rusty. His senses are fine, but the body lags. So during the height of the Republic, all Jedi had el even elderly had strict training schedules. Lightsabers canonical. You're super heavy when turned on. The Force user supports it. You don't get to train. Uh, you don't train. You get rusty fast. All right. Um, yeah, Squiddy. Yeah, he looks like he has an actual cult. Um, all in all, the MCU isn't a shit show of convoluted story continuities as I feared it would be by the Strange movie. They certainly kept it more grounded and not all over the place. That said, I find multiverse dynamics a bit of poison chalice for stories, and I'm very apprehensive about where they're going the grand scheme of this phase. I, uh, Nanashi, I share that same feeling. I, feel, I share that feeling about the multiverse dynamics that from a from a showrunner standpoint, I don't even necessarily feel it from a like a writer. You can go a multi-book series. You could probably do it justice. Um, and I think there's examples of some that have. Um, but like from a showrunner standpoint, I, I, I agree that Poison Chalice uh, feels feels accurate. Ooh, super sibilant on that S. Sorry about that in your ear. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Especially, as, especially from a showrunner's point of view. That's a rough fucking gig to do. That's a rough gig to do. Oh, one geek. Yeah, I saw the geek in the, the Umbrella shirt. It's like the Umbrella Academy for real. Isn't he the one who said he really wanted to play a pedo and was... Yes, Beast. Jared Leto is in fact the one who said he was researching for a part as a pedophile. It's fucking weird as shit. Um... Go back to the semicircle, some geek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Axel, I saw him. Uh, summer camp with Leto. Luke would be uh, uh, so young. I keep wanting to be surprised. Life imitates art. Yeah. All right, so let's see more. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Why are you the focus of every, every single one, Jared? What? What do you have to teach, by the way? What does he teach? I would love to know. I yeah, you dig. Yeah, dig and I like same time. Dig is wait, what do they talk about? I a hundred percent want to hear one of these lectures. Eat the air, breathe the air. Uh, yeah, like I hundred percent want to hear one of these. Because he's a pretentious douche, is it? True. Uh, raspberry green tea, if you're wondering. <clears throat> um, Neo-spirituality. How many people do you think that is? Anybody wanna, is anybody good at this sort of, like, estimation? Is anybody good at this sort of counting? 
No, there's not only women, but there were. There's a dude in there. 150, at least 12. Kropot uh, Kinetic is uh, going for a... Uh, yeah, we're just going with Kinetic on this one from now on. Uh, <laughs> kinetic is uh, 250. I, I'm terrible at this sort of estimation, but like, yeah, I mean, seven plus or minus 2,000. Hmm. 300 ish. Okay, so I'm gonna take the 250 to 300. For juice is going 200 to uh, 200. I, I'm I'm a uh, greater than one, less than 10,000. Thank you. Yes, super helpful. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, I'm going to take the 250. The 250 feels ish. So let's just, let's just, just somewhere around there. Well, what do you think they paid? Like, did they pay? How much did they pay? Oh God, he's, this person has Jared Leto stories. Um, okay. So Mars Island. White robe, Jared, Jesus like, yeah, 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 <laughs> fucking, yes, this is a cult. Um, okay, so, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, Jesus Christ. You can space, uh, uh, to, uh, space out your thumb and finger and count that square and how many squares you have. Oh, all right. Uh, told us once met some LA white girl who prayed over a bong and talked about her spiritual experience basically shitting in the woods naked and laying in a hole uh, been there um, you can let's see I'm gonna revise to 200 plus uh, okay yeah I mean it's it's is he rap he's so Manson isn't he he's so very like hold on young Charles Manson. Oh, here we go. Dude. Dude. So, Mars Island, just off the coast of Croatia. In what could be the groundwork for an honest-to-goodness pseudo-religion, Leto and his band sold three-day pa weekend passes with VIP packages costing up to $6,499. Cheapest ticket, $1,649, Red is saying. Attendees would also get matching tattoos... <sighs> with an opportunity to learn with opportunities to learn yoga among other activities <laughs> the biggest draw of all though would be a performance from leto's band dubbed church of mars this would be the first time Leto has had used cult-like vernacular. This would not be the first time Jeto has used cult-like vernacular and imagery to describe his following, both as an actor and as a musician. As far back as 2013, 30 Seconds to Mars used the phrase, yes, this is a cult, to describe the undying adoration of their fans. Uh, I mean, must we remind people fan is short for fanatic. I mean, that is the root word for fan. Fan is short for fanatic. It's not completely incorrect. Perhaps ironically, and since 2015, the band has held annual summer camps, Jesus Christ, for the truly devoted, as Distractify explains. It wasn't until 2019, though, when photos and videos were released of devotees engaged in what seemed to be literal idol worship, that members of the public and press grew equal parts curious and concerned. Uh, sexual misconduct, yeah. Wait, okay. The inner circle of what might be called the Ledocean? Ledocean? Jared Leto. Ledocean. Ledocean religion 
coin tier. Okay, so good grunge credit where credit the Ledocean religion, or as Thirty Seconds to Mars followers refer to themselves, the Echelon are about out are, uh, are outgoing about their devotion. They seem to identify with triangular Illumini Illuminati like gestures, hand gestures, sh as shown by Dipley. What is a Dipley? Is that a Dipley? Is that a Dipley? What's a Dipley? Which is this, 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 this. I think this is it. Maybe this, this feels right. What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's, uh, uh. all right. There's even a promotional video on YouTube with a string heavy backtrack intercut with footage of 30 seconds of Mars live in concert, complete with weeping fans and adherents brandishing tattoos as the words belief, hope, emotions, understanding, music, support, world unification, love, shouts, communication, freedom, happiness, tears, dreams. It is the family run over the top. I mean... You can't tempt me like that. I wonder what it sounds like here. What's Standard epic build in the background. Beach is a diamond sand, Kai. If only would you, you would believe. Yeah, manipulative music, 100%. Image of our dear leader. Oh, no, he is apparently rapey, zippy. Yeah, like there's been accusations. I want to know what this one is. <laughs> That's not very morbid. It isn't, Exel. It's not very morbid at all. Can't rape someone who already signed a release. <laughs> He's a thinker. He's a thinker. Reminds me of the time I went to a Joel Osteen con uh, concert. Jesus Christ. I want to know what this conversation sounded like. I desperately wish I, I could hear it. Just the absolute. Leto? Rapey? Who would have thought the guy that sexually harassed and mailed used condoms to his co-stars to get into character was rapey? Yeah, all right. God, I just want to hear this conversation. Like, oh, Jesus. Oh, no, I wanted that one. Osteen is how so oh you know what you're right I mean if you're just doing some utilitarian calculus kinetic yeah you're not wrong you're not wrong if you're just doing pure utilitarian calculus yeah you're not wrong My favorite movie character, John Morbius, heavily disavows this Jared Leto person. Um, oh, 
Oh, this will be funny. Okay, so non-binary shared this. Uh, Proud Boy has a hissy fit because shirts or flags with Proud Boy or QAnon logos are not allowed at the Trump rally. Trump merchandise only. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> See, what did they tell you what kind of racist Trump was? Two birds, one stuff. Two birds, one stuff. No merchant, no political merchandise allowed other than mine. Right? It's like, go, it's fucking, it's wearing a Pepsi shirt at a Coke plant. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking hilarious. That's like, mm, two birds, one stone. I love it. No outside drinks or merch allowed. Yep. It's, it's so brilliant. I love it. It's, it's such a scammy move. I, it's it's right on brand. It's right on brand. I appreciate it. Perfectly on brand for them. All right, let's get this. That Proud Boys are not allowed at this Trump event. I'm telling you right now, any sort of Proud Boys or QAnon signal. QAnon. Yeah, has to go. All right, go. So. I, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave, but we were invited. We were invited to be here. I'm going to walk out. They probably didn't tell you to wear Proud Boys. We were... Doors, okay? So why 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 do I have to walk? Why do I have to walk? Because the front doors are this direction, sir. That's why. No, I mean like why why do Proud Boys have to walk? Q Anon? Because you can't have any logos or insignia for this event. And the people hosting this event have You're kidding me, right? Because the, the Trump campaign them. gave us VIP tickets. So you can turn your shirt inside out or you can purchase another shirt. This is really happening. Or you can leave. Yeah, it's really happening. Okay, okay. So, can I ask why Proud Boys aren't allowed here? It's the logo, it's the shirt. And I don't make the rules. Sorry. But we're, we're, we're giving well, you some options. You can turn is, there, is there a reason why Proud Boys aren't allowed here? It's a private event, they made the rules, man. That's all, that's all I could say. But the, the, the actual campaign themselves gave us VIP tickets. So why is it, why we're can't... Going in circles. Yeah, like, oh, that's just painful to watch. It's like, dude. Flip your shirt or get lost. Fucking. Oh. My First Amendment rights. This is what freedom of speech and expression look like, whiny boys. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But, but, but we're Trump special boys. <laughs> Um, they should just follow the law. It's the exact same Proud Boy at some point. Yeah, or, or it's a private venue. Because it is a private venue. You know that's not a public space. That's some fucking... Con like, that's some fucking stadium or some shit like that. Those are all owned by some private corporation at the end of the day, usually. So... Did he truth that video, or is he banned there, too? Um... I'm kind of wondering how nice he would be if the cops, if it was BLM. It looks like it's outside security, Squiddy. It looks like it's probably the venue security. So probably not as not as badly as Trump would want them to be. I bet that's venue security. And so, like, yeah. They don't need corporate liability. Corporations are really good about fucking distancing themselves from that sort of thing when they can. That's the one thing you can count on. Is like it's it's probably private security provided by the venue itself of which they are renting the space for the night. And so that's probably some third party security. So it's probably your de facto level of like systemic racism in the U.S., not Trump level, um, or Proud Boy level. <laughs> Yeah, Proud Boys couldn't go see Trump right there, huh? Hard, huh? Yeah, well, you know. Oh, uh, is there anything I wanted to... Oh, yeah, British Columbia is going to decriminalize small amounts of hard drugs. Just FYI, BC's going for it, finally. Um, 2.5 grams. Uh, British Columbians, um, uh, 18 years of an, uh, an older, will be able to carry up to a cumulative total of 2.5 grams of fentanyl, heroin, cocaine, or methamphetamine, 
and they're um, it will be decriminalized. 2.5 grams of those isn't much, but a day-to-day -day addict, like a street addict, they could fall in those levels. Most everybody else is going to have more than 2.5 grams of something, unless it's the fentanyl. The fentanyl, but good on. Either way, it's a step. Baby steps, baby steps. It's a step in the right direction. We'll take it. Um, here's something you didn't expect. Probably. That under the rules established, the police will not be able to confiscate the drugs. Nor will people who f are found with drugs... Be re will be required to seek treatment. There is no forwarding, forwarding these people into a court system. There's no taking their drugs. It is simply a full, equal decriminalization of them. So, what would Morbius do? <laughs> How are the cops going to get high now? Oh, don't worry. Fucking they'll just, they'll take two and a half grams. They'll just go roust somebody who has more. No big deal. They'll be fine. Yeah. Cops don't, cops don't bother with the two and a half grams for their own use. They'll just go de bag a dealer for that. Um, the scale said it was five grams. Yeah, they've got plenty. <laughs> they got plenty. Um, Oh, we weren't on the air last night, but I mean, do we need to t talk about the uh, the pregnant woman? <laughs> um, years worth on standby. Um, fucking Missouri cops, like uh, Kansas City, Missouri. She was supposedly being arrested f uh, for a suspected carjacking. Um, she ran. She ran. Just the long and short of it. She was she was suspected of an armed carjacking, supposedly. <laughs> I don't know if that charge is going to pan out. I don't know what will happen with that charge. <laughs> that charge will probably miraculously just vaporize into the ether. Nothing will become of it. <laughs> probably nothing will. Like, that's usually what it needs mentioning. That she supposedly was fleeing from her arrest as a suspected armed carjacker. This is the context to what the cops have stated. Now, the cops also stated that she wasn't unarmed and that they had due cause and that sort of thing. But the people who filmed it and, the, uh, and other people who were witnesses on the scene all confirm that what happened was... The Kansas City, Missouri cops shot a pregnant woman who was running away from them. <laughs> who had no weapons whatsoever. None. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh, um, they put her in handcuffs still, by the way. It, they, they shot a pregnant woman who was running away from them five times. And they still put cuffs on her. <laughs> so. She's stable. She actually survived. Now as to the status of the fetus. I don't know. Uh, I don't know it's listed condition. If it's been updated or not. But something like this is not great. For you know. 
the developmental, the gestational cycles. G generally speaking, gestational cycles don't like to be, you know, interrupted by the, the host body being shot five or, you know, few, four or five times. It, it ten, tends to disrupt things, you know. Um, so, you know, yeah. Oh, the pro-lifers? Don't worry about them. She was black. Um, we won't be hearing from them. Something uh, just like that happened at the grocery store where I shop at. Jesus Christ, Quiddy. Uh, no, 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 Amorous? Amorous, no, Amorous. If the fetus dies, if she loses the fetus, they'll charge her with it. Yeah, 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 this has happened before in this country. Oh, Amaris, you're adorable. You think we haven't done this before? There was a woman in, oh God, I want to say Texas. Either way, this kid, this has happened before in our country. A woman committed a crime and in the uh, commission of the crime, um, she was shot and that caused her to lose the fetus and they charged her with the, uh, with the loss of life crime. Yeah. Yeah, because it was done in the commission of a crime. So you're ultimately responsible. 50-50 Texas or Florida. Yeah, that's, we've, we've been, yeah, she'll be charged with murder. Yeah. That's how we roll, man. Yeah, you fucking, <laughs> even if even you still, you know, you always think you hit the bottom of the barrel with the U.S. No, no, homie. We got another level below that. We always do. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've already done this one. We'll charge her with it. Uh, Alabama. It feels right. That feels right. Alabama wouldn't charge after losing unborn baby in shooting. Indicted for manslaughter after losing her baby in a shooting. Her fetus. She was shot in the stomach and indicted and charged with manslaughter for the death of the fetus. Gotta be honest, this shit no longer surprises me with the US. Good, 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 good. That jaded, that that cynicalness that you're feeling, Sonia. Imagine what we feel. <laughs> Why do you think I'm laughing? This shit, look, it's either laugh or cry. This shit happens every fucking minute of every day in our shithole country. So we fucking, we get gallows humor like a motherfucker up in this bitch. Yeah. It's Oh, uh, what happened to this place? We defunded everything. Um, it's still picket fences and million dollar dreams. Yeah, I know. There's no barrel. We reached hell, but it's still picket fences and million dollar dreams. Um, this is so fucked up. I still don't quite how it's possible. I get one person could be so twisted to think that, but enough people have to sign, uh, have to sign on, for, uh, on, on that. Yeah. Um, you'd think, right? Yeah, you'd think. We are, our, our system is completely riggable from the top to the bottom. It's in everybody's, everybody's working an angle. Everybody's working a grift. Every fucking level, every angle, every person, every position, everybody's working a grift, small and big. Some of them are billion dollar grifts and some of them are pencils from the, uh, the workplace closet. At the end of the day, everybody's working an angle. The whole thing's broken. The whole thing's broken. Culture's broken. Society's broken. The bureaucratic system is broken. Governance is broken. The economic system is broken. And it's, it, it's, it's all broken intentionally. Or let's just say the holes that are there are there. They could have been plugged long ago, but those holes are, you know, all useful. They often go in and make them wider. <laughs> so, yeah. We're pretty fucking cynical. I still have the highlighters I took from one of my jobs. Nice. Laws, local to federal, a big-ass con. Yep. Maybe prims have a point. Um, yeah. 
it's it's every single level. It's every single angle. It's every single method. Fuck it. Oh. So I'll still um I'm not I'm at a position. Here's what I'm proposing. I'm gonna switch over to seven days to die. If Karina and Caboose still want to get a couple of minutes in. Yeah. Um And um, I'm still just gonna ha I'll hang out with you guys in chat because I'm I'm pretty <laughs> over leveled. Let's just put it that way. On um, lighter news, the Jesus Guns baby lady is refusing to concede and is calling the election rigged. Good honor, good honor. Um, I think she's just great. Um, she's super fucking batshit. Um, she has stated that on day one she would sign an executive order to tear down the Georgia Guidestones, which is hilarious i think that should be done anyway um fucking get rid of them they're weird racist eugenics shit the we're pretty sure like there's some guy that did a documentary a bunch of years ago that talked about it they're pretty sure they know who put them who paid to put them up it's just some fucking racist white dude um yeah they're all about eugenics and shit Forty billion could have made schools safer. One flag on play for attempting to use the latest sh latest school shooting for benefit. All right, flag on play for that. All right, so you got a yellow flag. That's blatant. We it's just blatant, man. It's blatant. Um, two. No, it couldn't have because forty billion is not enough to address the actual fucking problem. You're right. I, I fundamentally, I really don't care other than I want an educated society because I want fucking idiots like that. I want people to not run around and make stupid comments like that, basically. I would much prefer a highly educated society. And school shootings disrupt the process of education, I find. I, I, I find that the constant looming threat of school shootings to actually disrupt the educational process. And I don't care about your fucking kids. Like, this isn't some, like, uh, existential breeder nonsense that's in my head about, oh, the children. This is pure utilitarianism. We need the kids to support society to keep this whole process of humanity going. And so these things are important. They're important to the cycle, to the whole process of humanity. Right? They're a component. And when they're dysfunctional, when they're fucking dumb as shit, and when nobody teaches them about history or society or psychology or critical thinking or mathematics or scientific literacy, looking at you fucking anti-fucking medicine, neo new age bullshit crowd, fucking, it makes them super susceptible to co coercive and conniving uh, methods of manipulation and control in society. The likes of Trump. The likes of Joel Osteen. The likes of Jared Leto. <laughs> I mean, take your fucking pick. Right? It's 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 healthier for my world if all the little fuckers are actually educated properly. Comprehensive early life sexual education. Right? Like all of this matters to me. But the fact of the matter is is you don't want to actually address the problem. You're one of those people that yells about foreign aid being spent on somebody else that could have been spent on ours. But when it comes time to expanding healthcare for all, expanding mental health services, expanding community services in the public services sector, well, hang on, fiscal responsibility, we shouldn't necessarily be spending on that. Maybe we should just put some more money in our police departments. So, yeah, forgive me if I don't seem too impressed about your faux concern about the 40 billion that could have been spent at home. What would you have spent it on specifically to so secure our nation's schools? What would, they, what would you have put that 40 billion dollars to, sir? I presume. And for those of you who don't understand the sir reference, it's a Doug Stanhope tag. 
<laughs> we got the Republican health care plan. It's called Romney Care. I mean, Obamacare. That is true. It is modeled after the Mitt Romney, Massachusetts plan, which is a gift to the fucking insurance companies. <sighs> Give it to me. I could use it to zippy. Yeah. Any, you know what? If you split that, if you, if you split that $40 billion up into 40, just random billion dollar groups and gave it to 40 random Americans under a certain, but like income level, you'd probably do more to change the world doing that. They would automatically spend it. He already left. Boring. Yeah, wherever those 40 people live, all of their community services probably increase immediately. Most of them would just start spending it. They'd be like, I got a billion dollars. Like, I'm just going to spend it. Yeah. I don't know why he was so offended. His account was only a week old. Mm. And he only follows three people. Mm. Funny how that works. No, it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the problem's so much bigger. Uh, you used that one in voice chat the other day. Non-binary. Not only, not only is it a dad joke, it's a recycled dad joke from just like two days ago. Come on, man. You're better than that. Um, duh, he was Biden's last brain cell. He's off to bounce off of another. Oh, let's see. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Oh, so I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the old Valde Police Department killed a kid. <laughs> like, y'all saw that press conference, right? Where that cop comes out and he's like, oh, by the way, we didn't shoot nobody. I'm clearly paraphrasing. Um, but, I mean, this motherfucker, like, apropos of nothing, starts talking about how the police department's not responsible for any injuries to the, the, the kids. And you're like... I didn't think that prior to this moment. Now I'm pretty sure that you done shot a kid. And then the next day they announced they're not cooperating with any Texas Department of Public Safety or Department of Justice inquiries or investigations. Now I'm pretty fucking sure that you done shot a kid. <laughs> Right, like if you just start randomly saying, "Oh, I didn't shoot a, I didn't shoot any kids." By the way, I just want, I just want to let you know, I didn't shoot any kids. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start thinking you shot a kid, right? If if there's a Department of Justice and like a DPS investigation into your behavior shooting kids, now I'm pretty sure you're fucking, you shot a kid, <laughs> like, and you're like, I'm not cooperating with them. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you shot a kid, right? What if that kid's, uh, what is a kid if not a future criminal? I mean, potential future criminal. I mean, Amherst, that, like, uh, the demographics for the town are 87% Hispanic anyway. So clearly, uh, if a cop says something, they're lying. <laughs> Methinks thou doth protest too much. A woman just stopped, on, uh, stopped me on the sidewalk. She said recognizing me from the vegetarian club. But I'm certain I'd met, uh, I hadn't met her before. Oh, you getting these from like may I have a dad joke dot com or some shit? <laughs> um, unless any of the staff were able to keep copies of campus CCTV, it's gone forever, dude. Honestly, that whole thing is sus as fuck. It really is. The whole thing is just sketchy, man. We did not shoot a kid. <laughs> oh, the police department probably. Yeah, we did not shoot a kid. See? They're good. They're good. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. All right. Is this? Yeah, it's that's. I just managed to drop my. <laughs> just managed to crash my main browser. There we go. <laughs> that was uh, that 
That was an interesting thing. All right. Anyway. Uh, oh, it all comes back. It all comes back automatically. Um, well, we have to talk windows and we have to talk sub tab groups because I use Vivaldi and Vivaldi has sub tab groups. So like one of my tabs, one of my top level tabs can have nearly infinite sub tabs. So like my, pr my project Zomboid tab has, um, has eight fucking sub tabs on it from like the workshop to VHS locations to various mapping systems, heat mapping systems that like allow me to filter and search for different items and different methods. So yeah, like we have to start discussing like window counts and then top level tabs and then like lower level tabs at that point. In totality though, um, not too many. I don't think I even break a hundred. No, I don't even think I break 50, frankly. Rough guess, 45. It's Rough guess, 45. Yeah, that's where I sort of would put it. Um... That's why they're so much happier and comfortable saying they did nothing and stopped parents. <laughs> Those were good angles on what they did. Um, my mom is a public school elementary teacher. Jesus, that be? Um, no, I, I, um, I sincerely, I've said this before. I've said it on a voice call just tonight even. Um, I, I feel like I want to send a gift basket, like a flower basket or something, to like the chief of police of like the Evaldi Police Department on behalf of anarchists everywhere. Like, hey. We have been trying to like discredit and undermine your entire your entire institution for like a couple hundred years. We've been after you guys. And in like 10 minutes, well, technically 77 I think is the the final number, but in 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 about an hour, you guys did what anarchists could not do in like 2 centuries. So I just want to give you guys a thanks on behalf of anarchists everywhere. Yeah, we couldn't have done it. We couldn't, we couldn't have done this better. Like this is, this is the, just thank you. Thank you on behalf of anarchists. All we ever have to do. This is the coup de grace. This is the coup de grace. We lead with this from now on. Like it's just the first word is Ilvade. Ulvade Police Department is the fucking why. Well, what are you gonna do when the police don't? Uh, what are you gonna do when somebody r robs your home? Ulvade Police Department. All right, like what? What? They're useless. Not only are they useless, they're counterproductive. They stand in the way when parents were like, okay, fine. You're a fucking piece of shit and you're a useless, uh, 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 useless piece of garbage, right? Like I get it. You are not going to save my child. Congratulations. I don't know why I pay your fucking salary as a taxpayer, but congratulations. You're a completely useless piece of trash. I get that. Now I'm going to go save my child. Oh, I can't let you do that. Okay, so now you're not only a useless piece of garbage, you're a useless piece of garbage who is actively hindering me. Okay, taser, 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 pepper spray, handcuff. Okay, so like literally every argument you ever want to make has just been made for you in the Ilvade Police Department because you lead with them. There's no denying them. That's going to shut down anybody's fucking argument. You just lead with that. Dude, that's that's the fucking dude, that's the elbow that just breaks through their fucking defenses immediately. It doesn't matter if you're an anti-statist uh right-wing libertarian type who's like, yeah, the police department sucks. I should be able to hire somebody differently, right? Doesn't matter. We don't want to let them do what they want to do in the end. Like, you know, but hey, temporary fucking ally, you know, fucking ally. Right? Get them to fucking vote. <laughs> just get them to do the thing, right? fucking you know yeah it doesn't matter if you're an anti-status right-wing libertarian type or whether you're a, a, a like died in the wool leftist 
right? At the end of the day, the conversation is like, hey, do you trust the state? No, I don't trust the state. Cool. The, do you trust these guys? Because, like, not only did we see that they won't save your fucking kid, they'll stop you from saving your fucking kid. You bring up the rape kits next for all of the women in the room, right? You bring up the rape kits next. If you bring in, <laughs> right? And you fucking got 50%, 52% of the population right there. Dude, they don't do anything about rapes. Police don't do anything about rapes. They don't. Girl, uh, girly bear, and they save their own kids. Yeah, there's fucking, dude, like two of them that went in? Something like that? Oof. Um, you fucking, yeah. Like, this is, dude, they did all of our work. Um, yes, yes. Um, yeah, like, the, the fucking beast, yeah. Uh, you said it great a few days ago, something like the current anarchists, though, told you so. Anarchists are the, anarchists are the permanent I told you so group. Do you want to say I told you so on a historic level? Be an anarchist. We're always on the right side of history. I'm telling you. Even even during the era of the propaganda of the deed, which we, we try not to cover too explicitly on this channel for obvious reasons, but even during the era of the anarchist, uh, during the era of the uh, propaganda of the deed, anarchists weren't out there fucking pulling an IRA. There weren't like civil dude. We, like there's like in South America, there's this notorious captain who used to like d disrupt and was charged by the governor of the of the the region um, to like disrupt anarchist activities. So they fucking assassinated him. He's in a captain in the military who's actively disrupting anarchistic activities in the region, right? Like it wasn't anarchists weren't like we're not the crew. We don't, we don't like indiscriminate methods. We don't like fucking, like, that's just never been really, like, our bag, so to speak. Some people have stepped outside the line. But at the end of the day, like, you know, yeah, like, homie, <laughs> they did so much work for us. Um, yeah, for the most part, we are historically just on the right side of history. Um, caboose, I became an anarchist just for this privilege. Yeah, no, it's great fucking privilege. You lose all your cop privileges as a white dude, but you know, it is what it is. Um, it's the thing that people sort of slip on. Uh, how are you going to go up against the U S military? They're not only the, uh, not the only governmental forces. The police used occasionally lethal methods on people. Yeah. The cop yeah, occasionally the, the front line of defense for the status quo and the, uh, the call it, whatever you want to call it, the complex in this, in all countries, right? Like, it, it is the police, the street police, the local police, and the state police to a certain extent, the county police, local county and state, right? Like, it's the police. That's who enforces the will of the state on the people. And one of those Supreme Court decisions, by the way, uh, was a decision that stated that um, the police department do not have a duty to, the, to protect the people, but they do have a duty of uh, service to the state. So the, like, there's a Supreme Court finding that shows that there is, in fact, a duty on the part of the police, but it doesn't it's not to you. It's to the state. So, like, forget that whole you're supposed to be the empowerment of the state sort of thing. Um so, yeah, like, anarchists historically are just on the correct side of history when it comes to these topics. And if you want to be able to be a permanent I told you so, be an anarchist. Because when it comes to this sort of shit, you're like, yeah, I told you so. This shit's fucked. Even if my solution is wrong, the critiques of anarchism are fair critiques. And when you talk about, like, historical ethics, we tend to come out ahead. Um, I found an article the other day that went through the various court cases that found the cops saying they would only do something such as investigate a rape isn't them legally saying they will do a thing and does not mean that they have the responsibility to do that thing. Yeah, Jay. Dude, it's fucking rough out there. Qualified immunity needs to change. Um, yeah, I mean, you could just legislate around that. Qualified immunity isn't a thing that needs to be repealed, by the way. Qualified immunity is a, a, a legal artifact. It's a resultant from a series of Supreme Court decisions and writings. That's all, like, we could just legislate around qualified immunity if we wanted. Like, you could just, done. It, it's, it's, not, it's not difficult. You just need to pass a law, and qualified immunity is gone. 
but good luck, you know. All of that's rigged. Any of the parents tried killing the cops? No, Starla, it doesn't look like anybody drew down or fucking tried to, like, get Wiley on him. It's Texas. You think that, you know, fucking don't mess with Texas? Well, apparently you'll stand by and fucking bootlicking while your kids die. That's the critique nobody wants to give yet. <clears throat> I'll fucking, I'll give it. What'd you do? Well, they pepper sprayed me. And? It's your fucking kid, man. Look, I don't, I'm, I'm not a parent. I have no parental instincts, but I get it. Like, I, I understand the theory behind it, right? It's like life or death, you know? If you take, as a parent, right, the, 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 the standard is supposed to be if somebody points a fucking gun and shoots a bullet, you're supposed to be like, yeah, I step in front of that bullet 100 times out of 100. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, that's my kid, yo. Like, yeah, I take a fucking bullet for my kid. Obviously. Right? Like, what'd you do? You punked out, like, right at the fucking start? You know those pussy-ass snowflake leftists you talk about all the time? Fucking, we're out there dealing with the cops night after night, right? And they were going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. What happened? What happened? Thought those were your kids. Didn't you love them? Whoops. Yeah, Aaron. Yeah, it wasn't the Ovalde cops that breached. It was off-duty feds. Yeah, the first guy to give it a poke was that uh, was one of the Bortac guys, but then they brought in Bortac proper, and they fucking, yeah, they just handled it. Uh, the indoctrination runs deep. They let their kids die because they can't comprehend that option. I know, right, Zippy? Yeah. The state said stop, so they stopped. Imagine, imagine, imagine if that were the scene, Zippy, and the parents l opened up on the cops. Viva, I've written about it. Imagine if that were the scene. If the, if the parents of... Olvade school children's but each school children started drawing down on the cops you're gonna get the fuck out of my way and let me save my child or I'm gonna fucking put you in a body bag now get the fuck out of my way imagine if that were the scene that would be that'd be some real shit that'd be some real shit that would teach Americans some shit that I don't know they need to know I'm not sure Americans are ready for that knowledge that you can just say no straight up straight up. You can just be like, no later dig. Oh, we were playing video games before this deck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Amorous a hundred percent. They failed to use the Second Amendment for its intended purpose. Yeah. 100%. This is why I don't respect most modern gun owners, because they forget. <laughs> they like to LARP about it. And they like to talk about it. But they forget about it. They forget the responsibility that it holds. It's a big fucking weight. To, to bear that weight that yeah yeah push come to shove shit's real uh karina i asked like 45 minutes ago if you and caboose were were ready and i didn't get a response from either of you i was watching for it or did i miss the response yeah, I was like, I asked. Like, I, I, I know I asked. Fuck him. <laughs> like, that I do know. Uh, but I could have missed the response. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I was like, are you guys ready? So, I like to think I would have bumped into the feds sneaking in. <laughs> this is Aaron. What's up, homie? <laughs> Shh, I'll be... <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm. All right, well. Yeah, I've seen Caboose in, 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 uh, off and on, but he's been like, we'll see. Caboose. Um, the headlines for that. I know, right? Dude, it would be amazing. It'd be amazing. I Again, you fucking... All right, duly noted. You fucking ADHD motherfuckers need to be like... <laughs> fucking gotten attention first. Got it. Got it. Just fucking, I'll just remember that from now on. <laughs> Fuck, like 45 minutes ago, I asked. <laughs> Sorry, I saw a squirrel. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Let's see. Where's the button? There's the button. Let me push the button. Yeah, no, that would that would have been an um um good night, Puka. Um That would have been an amazing fucking uh um scene. Later, Deirdre. Um that would have been an amazing scene. To uh to wake up to like I, I, how, what would, how would that even get billed? What would you say? It's going to be based on independent newspapers, right? It's going to be like one newspaper, like one outlet, one media enterprise is going to say one thing. One's going to say another because Fox news and Newsmax is going to say one thing about that. And fucking CNN, MSNBC is going to say another one, right? Like that's going to be a whole thing. But, like, the headlines or something like that. Yeah, the AP. What would the fucking AP say? Fucking, I mean, Jesus, fuck. Brave, brave American patriots fight off the globalist state enforcers to sacrifice uh, to us, uh, uh, potentially, uh, to save children. I, I fucking, I mean, dude, some of those headlines are going to be insane from some of those right-wing rags. For sure. Police open fire on parents attempting to stop massacre of their children. I'm waiting for the AFP release. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That would have been... But that's my... It's kind of my point, right? Like, they didn't. They didn't. So you want to know how bad the, the, the statist indoctrination is? People will stand by while their children are executed and do what the state says even though they know the state is doing nothing and just letting their children be executed. That's, that's what they're willing to do. They're willing to stand by while the screams of their children are heard off in the distance and they're slowly being executed while the state does nothing to help them. That's, that's intense. That's German level compliance right there, says Viva. No, it really is. Uh, can, that's the monopoly on violence condensed into a thick liquid. Yep. It's barbarically painful. I mean, it, that's that's an intense level of fucking... I, I can't even begin to understand how fucked that is. Hello, chat. There is a Karina. Oh, just the thoughts of Zippy. Yeah. Dude, I mean, that's the criticism that nobody's levying yet. Dude, I haven't heard that. Have, have you heard that? Has anybody heard anybody actually stream that opinion yet? That, like, specifically? that there's criticism of the parents on, uh, like, okay, so why did the parents let the kids die? The, the cops stopped them, yes. But after, like, you know, years months of like leftist protesting remember all those weak snowflake leftists who went up toe to toe with the cops night after night after night after night and they were all like SWAT in SWAT enforcer teams and shit like that what what happened your kid you stood by while your children were slowly executed because the state told you to like stay there and do nothing what happened aren't aren't you Texans don't mess with Texas aren't you all about the like, do it your own way personal responsibility what fucking happened? Why'd you just stand there and let your children die? 
because the state enforcer said to. They were threatened, but is it truly enough to keep a parent away? Uh, that's uh, my whole point was like, I thought like, I don't, I have no parental instincts, not a breeder, don't get it. But I thought the whole thing was like a hundred times out of a hundred, you take the bullet for your kid, right? Like that's, that's just baseline parenting is like you step in front of that gun every time. Like, of course you do. You trusted the police too much. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Uh, squid that did happen at least once, maybe twice. Yes. It is. It is true that some of them may have gone in and saved their own kids. Yes. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's absolutely fucked. Are you able to... Yeah, you probably already figured out when you back down. I'm not saying. Um... As I speak. So, like, yeah, like, that's, that's my question, is, like... I don't... I think I may be cutting new ground there by actually calling the parents out. And being like, what, ha what happened? And yeah, like Aaron, most don't want to go up against 20 guys with rifles and tasers. We do it because some dude's going to get evicted. You couldn't do it for your kid. Just saying. <clears throat> well, again, fucking Aaron, the cops lying to the fucking parents, making them think that they they're actually doing something. Again, welcome welcome to the conversation, parents. If you had been paying attention to the conversation the rest of us have been having about these fucking cops since day goddamn one now, right? Maybe you would have been clued in a bit about how god-awful this organization is. But hey, the fuck do I know? Personally, I hope I would have snuck in the back, says Aaron. I mean, I don't know. I, look, I, I don't, I have zero parental instinct, but I gotta tell you, if, if somehow I had a kid, I already don't respect the police. <laughs> I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have asked. Like, I wouldn't have tried. Like, that's not how I would have, I operate in the first place. Like, when they rebuffed me at the entrance, I would immediately would have been like, all right, I need to find another point of ingress. Like, fuck these guys. <laughs> little, little fucking Kai or whatever the fuck, the little fucking Kai Jr. Because let's just pretend I'm that much of a narcissistic psychopath. Um... Oh, hey, watch this. All right, so this could be great. This could be great. Nope, wrong one. Bam, and bam, and bam. And so I'm pretty sure that automatically kills that, and that kills that. All right, cool. Oh, if anybody, hey, here's Lee Orenbard, everybody. That's that's what it takes to disable like hate raid notifications. You see that? That's that's all it takes. That's, that's literally all it takes. But here's the chat bot. Here's some constants that I run. Here's the Twitch main. That's what runs the show. Um, I'm gonna have a baby and leave it on Kai's doorstep. So zippy. Oh, okay. I see you, Caboose. One sec. Uh, there we go. Alright. Um. Fucking, yeah, no. What's the point of, what's the point of having ten kids if not let a couple die from preventable causes? Survival of the fittest, let's go! Yes! 100% survival of the fittest. Let's just, let's do it, baby. Um. I could actively, un I could understand standing back if you genuinely believe that they were actively doing something you don't want to get in the way. But from all accounts, it was pretty clear even the moment they weren't doing anything. Yeah, it. I mean, it really was, uh, Amaris. Like, it was a shit show from the word go. So. Oh. All right. Oof. 
that. Do that. Alright. Oh. Fucking A. Just grab the motorcycle. It is a pleasure to serve. Oh, that's my drone. Everybody beat Sally, by the way. That's Sally, my drone. Queen has upgraded the base. Here on our end as well. Uh, yeah, you have to. Oh, I have to. Oh. Understood. For yeah. cat's sake. Yeah. If I turn my mix minus off, uh, on, then all of this gets filtered from OBS at the board side. Understood. Um, but uh, yes, chat, we have been expanding the base. Uh, Semi-luxury, while the bottom layer is entirely functional. It still has a little bit of flair. The upper layer is going to be entirely shits and giggles. As well, I'm going to be upgrading our, uh, <clears throat> our... That's a bit. I'm coming to a blank, but I mean Blood Moon base. The Horde Knight base, that's it. Is that enough to... Oh, yes. All right, one more. Listen, chat, I just got back to the computer. And anyone who knows me knows that this hour, meaning I just got one back more. to my computer, I fuck. Craft. There we go. Let's do some aloe seeds. And bam, bam. Get some more aloe going. There we go. What is that? Four, six. All right. Well, I'll take it. You know what? Yeah, there's no point. Do one more. Um, seven. There we go. Get some aloe going. Kai is a beautiful god, and he tends to so often. I'm gonna go be a construction goblin. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna check out. Bill, 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 Jesus. Bam. Yes, I have a motorcycle now. Um, turn it twenty. It's sexy chat, ain't it? Look how awesome that motorcycle is. All right, let me go talk to my sexual harasser. She made me rich. If you're uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Um, Karina, if you wanted to do a mission, I got tier threes, so probably gonna dump XP Ooh. on you. I've maxed out the missions for today from getting her, so absolutely I will join you on one. Um, let's take the... I'm just spending my new path. Nine? Yeah, it's nine. All right. Uh, we'll you just do a like fetch and clear. Yourself. This is dangerous work, but... Yeah, shut up, Jen. There we go. All right. Um, Caboose and Karina both. I have not heard Caboose... Are you actually vocal, Caboose? I am vocal. I just I'm still in the middle of joining. Okay, I have sent the party invites to you both. So Karina, you have the to accept. Riddle also does that push to talk to me. Um, I'm also jamming out on the keytar while I wait. Um, fucking wicked. All right, so now I should be. Or ready. should I say wizard? I there like you go. Accept the quest. Don't be too impressed. I only know a few melodies. Alright. When you're ready, let me know. Oh, I should probably I check. Small arms and big hammers. Check my sexual That's harassers my fucking inventory too. Um go to the thing. What do we got? Mm, that could be useful. You know what? I'll buy you. Uh, do we need anything? Anybody looking for anything? Um, I am looking for Magnum. machete parts. Uh, I don't know if Magnums have different parts, but if you see Magnum parts or a Magnum schematic... I see a Magnum schematic. Done and done. Done and done. Danke schön. Um, machete. Machete. We had some parts in the parts chest. For a machete. We're missing like two parts. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, it's actually quite versatile. The uh, it all like you can really do um, a, a range and a melee build, 
and oh, like I, as your versatile character, and it feels good. Yeah, no, I do clubs. I, I'm doing the baseball bat with the spikes in the fire, and an auto shotgun, and I have a pistol as a backup just in case. Yeah, oh, of course. Oh, and I have a compound like, bat. I want that um, that MLG because I'm going to use my SMGs as snipers or and pistols too because they're fucking accurate. Um. All right, let's see. Just want some silencers. Vending machine. Which actually, that we should always be on the lookout for is the silencer. Now Matic. that was a good deal. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Uh, okay, so that's that. Night Zippy, thanks so much for coming by. Oh, Zippy's long gone. Oops. Okay. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna chat. Fucking when I when I switch off politics, everybody pretty much goes quiet usually. Um. All right. Let's uh, see. Is anybody nearby? No. All right. I'm gonna start heading to the location then. I need steel, scrap, oil, and mechanical parts. All right. I think. Uh, when you get the chance, though, Kai, just drop by the horde buddies and tell me what you think is happening. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead of you because I realize you have a motorcycle. Yeah, you should just just Much zoom better. on ahead. You'll be fine. Um, okay. What's up, Carpe? How you doing? We're doing some seven days Carpe. to die. Okay. okay. He's got a fish. He's got like it, it's got carp in his name. It's a fish, and he says howdy. And all of my brain can do is immediately remember Toy Story with a shark wearing the hat. Like howdy, howdy, howdy. Oh, fuck me. I can imprint it. Kind of thing. Oh, that car looks very deconstructible. Um. Yep. Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh. Um, modify. What do these actually do? Weapon handling. What does that actually fucking mean? Um, conspiracy theory. Kai only talked about politics to have a community from which to pull people he could tolerate playing multiplayer games with. Um, that's, I mean, 100% accurate, and I am dispatching the assassination team now, just so you know. So How you, dare you call us out? You've got minutes. You've got minutes. Kai sending the gazpacho after you. Yes, the leftist gazpacho is coming for you. <laughs> I fucking love that. Oh god, I was watching another thing about Marty Trader Green. She messed up another fucking phrase. Peach tree. Oh, she did. That was it. Peach tree. Yes. A peach god, tree that dish. Was a, that was a good, um, uh, olive. Yep, <laughs> Fritzy said, well, <laughs> shit, that escalated quickly. I'll be sent to the goulash. Actually harder to say than the real phrase. Yeah, no, she's a special kind of stupid, man. I'm not saying that we should, like, kidnap and isolate Marjorie Taylor Greene in, like, a zoo-like setting to which put to put her behind, like, plexiglass so that all of humanity can, like, bear witness and study the... the marvelous nature that is the absolute psychotic inside workings of Marjorie Taylor Greene's uh, head. But I would say if somebody did present that project, I probably would be a vocal supporter of it. <laughs> I, I think for the good of humanity, we should <laughs> study Marjorie Taylor Greene. She should put it, be put into isolation so we can all just take a, take a good long look at ourselves. Hmm, I've been stuck at the creating player phase for a little while now. Interesting. That's what I have one, see if something, see if you've got a red line block. Oh, I've been in this house before. I have one red line. Is it the bottom line and like has it? No. Has it? 
It's moved and past it. In NCS simple deserializer. Parse data size does not match expected size. Hmm. I mean, you know, always give it a reboot. Oh shit. There's always that option. So, yeah, I've been in this house before. I remember this point of interest from last playthrough. Like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there used to be this, there should be a safe here. Yes. How do I get out of the store? Freaking <laughs> and, and poke at her with a stick. I mean, you know, we could raise money for charity for sure if we just, like, sold, like, sticks. Um, cool. I mean, that wasn't really worth it, but fine. Okay, so there'll be some zombie there. Be some oh, zombie boy. over here when it all runs. Ooh. Are you, are you headed this way, Kai? I just realized something. You could actually set up a little thing if anyone was gaming with you and they were screen sharing with you over Discord. Chat could do a command to prompt up to just check what the others are doing for a bit. Yeah, I could. I'm not saying right now. Fucking waste of time. Uh, this okay, where where are you? All right, you're getting closer. I left after you. <laughs> like, you got lost in the store. Here's my bike. I thought it was just like a pop in and out thing, and I fell through the floor, and I had to find my way through the entire building. Alright. I need a montage! I need a hacking montage! Alright, I'll take these parts. Might as well. Excuse me, I'm gonna take a ton of coffee to get there. Take all this shit. Mm. Alright. Bam. Bam. Master, we are not alone. Oh. See? God, I love that fucking drone. Straight up. Nah, we're not alone. Cool. Thanks for giving me the heads up. <laughs> How did you get that drone again? I don't know, I fucking found it. I think in a treasure chest. Yeah, I thought it was a... a rare chance of getting, like, really rare items. Yeah, I thought it was, like, a base drone. I was like, oh, I put it on the ground initially, and I was like, what do you do? And then it just eventually, like, started floating and following me. I was like, oh. Alright, fine. I had to empty my fucking... All systems go. How may I help? Oh, I hear you. Yeah. All right, you definitely have accepted this quest, right? <laughs> yes, I can see the box. I can see the dingle. Okay. <clears throat> Bam. I just try and use the shotgun because I de-irradiate them. Hey, no, no, no. Hey there. Alright. Much better. Come on. There we go. Some water. We're on the search for a silencer for me and, you know. Oh, uh, when you get back to base, there'll be two. Uh, there'll be one, two there. No, I'm 
claro. There we go. Yeah, it is a smart drone. Sally's a good drone. Yes, I named her Sally. And yes, it's a she. Alright. Oh, that's probably yours. Let's see, mine are upstairs. You're, uh, because it's a fetching clear, uh, clear, uh, fetching clear. I think your courier satchel's over here. So. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think this, this is probably your satchel. Yep. I'm getting the same thing. I'm gonna try and check the integrity of the files real quick. Okay, so, if it's the same layout, theoretically, there should be a dog down here. Yes, there is. Told you. Okay, so yeah, I've done this exact point of interest a couple of times. Should be, come on. They made them more dynamic, but they do really There we go. There we go. Headshot. Oh, look at balls. Time to open. It's a gun safe. Jesus guy! Like every zombie in the game spawned in that room. Yeah, they do. Bunch of magnum ammo. No. I'm just literally shooting them back into the basement. Alright, I'm gonna chase them. Landmine? Yeah. Yeah, that was. Cool. Didn't send him that far. Oh, really? There we go. All right. Sleeps above me when I'm at the computer. She sleeps on me at night. Alright, job done. Hey. Brick right here on your screen? Oh, no, no, no. This whole area is... Okay. <laughs> I was like, that glitch was happening for me earlier, so I wasn't too sure. Have you found yours? Oh, yeah. Like, okay. Oh, shell. There you go. Done and done. Oh, did I not? Oh, that's right. I didn't. Hold on. Bam! Nah, I've been fucking stupid. Yeah, take the disassembly thing. Disassemble everything. Oops, smash a picture. Agility, gunslinger, we need level seven, got level six. Mm, what is that? Well, we're just working on our agility, which I believe leveling up agility is increasing my stamina. Agile, agile power. Painting, dumbass. Painting. There we go. Jesus. Express route. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, I'm pretty 
pretty sure. Yes. It's working stiff crate back here. Another level six steel pickaxe for somebody. Let's see what else. I think that's about it. Yeah, it's just metal. I'll give some electrical parts. And that's empty again. Yep. Why? Because I just sometimes like doing it for the sake of proving my sledgehammer cat. <laughs> Paintbrush. Can we make paint with paintbrushes? Uh, I don't think. No, I don't think we make paint with paintbrushes. Paintbrushes, wood and leather. You make paint with murky water and chrysanthemum. I wanted pink. Pink water section now if you want. Now you could just craft a paintbrush. <laughs> no. It's just wooden leather. What are you up to, Caboose? Did you ever figure it out? Trying to. What are you doing? Verifying files and shit like that? Yeah, something like that. Let's see. My sensors have picked up something. <laughs> oh, Philip. Oops, there we go. Alright. Let me uh, come here. How do you plan on keeping them on this cement? Like what? Are you just going to build this whole thing up and then put the stairs at the end? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. It's just a giant, it's just the giant platform that gives us more range to shoot from. And then I'm also going to extend where we shoot. So people aren't behind each other in the funnel. Where like only the melee guy and like one gunner need to be there, and the others can be parallel and perfectly fine. Get my arrow back. There we go. I like bow hunting in the night. Boom. You really do. You know what? Incoming enemy. Prepare I, for conflict. I don't think it'd be that complicated to lose some fucking zombies in this game, really. They're, they're, tr they're tracking and pathing is not nearly zomboid level. <laughs> like, I don't think it's difficult. Like, you gotta. You got like a hundred blocks before a fucking zomboid zombie's gonna fucking lose you. I'm pretty sure that dude lost me around the corner. It's got the sneak mechanic. So they have a view. They also have like a sightline mechanic, unlike zomboid. Zomboid has, you know, the range mechanic. But that's buffed and debuffed by sneaking. True. It's. These zombies are so much less vigilant. That's kind of what I'm saying. Alright. Fucking, there we go. Let's see what else? 
I hear you. Where are you? Oh, fuck you. Two more levels, so I'm gonna do some building. I think I got away. Master, we are not alone. Oh, over there. Okay. Where are you? Who's where I saw you? No? Don't know. Oh, well. Um. Five, four, uh, five, nine, four, one, one, six, seven, seven. That's not bad. Is that 50, 59 fucking damage? Let's see. Ooh. Oh. Can you see my light on your side? Or is it only... Oh. And guess what the number one is in the UK? And cunts on their jubilee sing Prince Andrew is a sweaty nonce. The punks share their new single as frontman Cunt tells us about uh, taking on the monarchy. Boris Johnson's Partygate scandal and Dream of Eurovision Gold. Um. Ow. Give me a second here. Um. Yeah, I saw somebody was starting like an anti-monarchy campaign. Like again, like somebody was kicking it off. Oh, oh, we got a wandering horde. Why aren't you dying? Heading to the UK number one. Good on them. Yeah, I, I saw um, I saw something about an anti-monarchy campaign. Hang on, give me one sec here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. BBC News was fucking doing some fucking shitey ass shit. Yeah. Republic, Republic erect anti-monarchy billboards across Britain. Make Elizabeth the last, a last. Hashtag abolish the monarchy. A BBC twi tweets this out and says, a series of anti-monarchy billboards have been described as offensive ahead of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. I don't know, sounds pretty reasonable to me. Sounds like a good use of their freedom of speech. Oh, wait. Is any monarchy sentiment really that offensive? I guess it's some of these idiots. A like, lot of people still want to fuck the queen. I know of, like... Because I, I, you know, I watched, like, Tom Scott before Tom Scott was Tom Scott. Like, um... That guy was that pirate dude. Mad Cat and Tom. I always forget how fucking old he is. Yeah, dude, we're old. Um, 
but you know, yeah, I've been aware of him for a very, very long time. And one of the um, one of the technical difficulty shows, um, citations needed that they did. Um, Tom tells a story about um, one of the like British like Monarchy Day things about how there was like you know street parties and shit. And he goes like you know, and I, I get there. It was the end of the day, and he said you know there's still the last dregs there. And fucking um, Brandon goes because we are British, and Tom's like exactly right. Like there's those dregs of Brit- hail Britannia still exist, and they offered him a piece of cake. The whole point of the story was fucking. He's like they offered me a piece of cake, and clearly that cake had been rained on. Uh, <laughs> it was just a sponge that soaked up water. Yeah, that sounds like British food, all right. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, like there, there is a contingent, it seems, that is definitely like pro monarchy, pro like hail Britannia, the sun shall never set on the empire sort of shit. Which, I mean, the sun's setting, the sun set on the empire. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Did no one tell them? Like, just let, let a brother know. But, yeah. Fucking offensive. Sure, sure, sure. Oh. A Volkswagen's being fucking <clears throat> dragged through it again. Uh, what they do this time? Brazi- a, a Brazilian farm owned by Volkswagen, uh, Volkswagen during the company's dictatorship recounts, quote, grave and systematic abuses, including rapes, beatings, and being tied to trees. Yeah, that sounds uh, on par for... The car maker is facing uh, legal action in Brazil over human rights violations. <laughs> I... Okay, so like, the reason last night was so much fun for me, like, um, they're out of Red Fruitopia at the movie, so I'm like, ah shit, okay, I'll get the orange drink, whatever it is, and it's Fanta, and I look at it, and then like, the immediate thought in my mind, Nazi like, Coke, Nazi, like, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to make one, and Amanda makes one first, she's like, so do you know where that comes from? Yeah. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Nazi Coke. Hey, Kai, you try sending me an invite. Okay. Maybe that might work. Oh, Kat and I have had a thing in the old, like, last version where, like, if you uh, start from the invite outside the game, Kat could get in, but Kat couldn't get in if he started from the game and then accepted the invite. Hmm. Well, but let's it's, try this real quick, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all fucking weird, man. It's all fucking weird. Video game development is not an exact science. <sighs> they're they're a way greater offender than most of the corporate IT infrastructures software I've ever worked with. Like they're that that's just like, dude, it's like a solar winds node couldn't fucking, you know, couldn't update correctly. Like it didn't even install correctly, right? Or it had the con- continual fucking shit like that. Like it just, it wouldn't even be a product. I, I I just yeah game game developers get away with fucking murder as far as the IT is concerned, and probably in some instances literal murder. Looking at you, Blizzard. <laughs> I don't think they murdered. I don't think they. Mur- okay, that worked. Hey, I don't think they murdered anybody, but they certainly raped somebody. So <laughs> like, I'm just apparently the problem was trying to join in on Krita. Hmm. I'm not the host. I know, but still, I could join in on Cat. Hmm. Yeah, just ask for an invite. I never. Yeah. Either way, okay. I also always find join on posters always the best. Yeah. One dead deer. Where's the other one? Ah. Two dead deer. Get my arrow back. Bastard. 
bastards. I can bring my arrow back. Alright. It's a bunch of bone, some fat, some meat, some leather. Let's see the deer. Let's see the deer. There we go. that long oh, oh god did you see uh, uh, the Russian troops that trampled the slur into the grass yeah <laughs> the fucking uh, Ukrainian intelligence used it to track their location they saw it they spotted it because they trampled the fucking slur apparently for Ukrainians by Russians but it's like cockley or something k-h-o-k-h-l-y um and so they like yeah the soldiers fucking trampled this in like the grass around their position like and the fucking Ukrainian intelligence running drones and shit they see this trampled in the grass and right next to where you see it trampled in the grass in the photo there's a big ass fucking explosion mark where there's no more grass like basically just you know stamped a big bomb here sign yeah it's like Jesus fucking Christ man um, all right. Um, I don't know. Where's the, um, oh, fuck me. Did you see that post on Reddit about, uh, Russian soldiers leaving, uh, like, so weights many. on top of mines inside uh, people's houses? Uh, say again? Uh, Russian soldiers have been leaving like dumbbells and weights on top of mines. Oh yeah, I mean that's yeah that, that's standard policy. As you as you back out, you just leave some um, surprises. Um, and yeah, what's up there, maniac? How you doing, man? Um, this is a oh, damn it. The cigar does not go in ve vehicular bullshit. Though it could, theoretically. Hello, Radical Maniac. Welcome. Uh, we're playing Seven Days to Die tonight. Um, Alright, vehicular bullshit. I got a bunch of the vehicular bullshit. Damn, I just shot a zombie dog out of the air. Attaboy. Radical Maniac's camera setup is quite crazy. Um, He's using security cameras to... Uh, have like constant high def zooming function and he uses it to track his animals and it's amazing. Uh yeah, like PTZ's fuck it with automated tracking and shit like that. I don't know if it's automated. It just seems to be very mm. quickly adjustable. Uh I've gotten to really like Project Zomboids because Project Zomboids great and you have good taste. You're a scholar or a gentleman. Um okay the blood bag does not go in the cookables. I mean theoretically. But um Pudding. Okay, so. Uh, Finally, out of concrete. I wonder if it's possible to reduce blood. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's a doable task. Yeah. What do you usually get out of it? Just like thicker blood. Um, I mean, if you did it via like an, that's that's essentially what the spin process is. Is um, plasma separates from um, red blood cell, which separates from, like there's serum plasma. Red blood cells, help me out in chat if you've ever spun some red blood and you fucking can help me out with what exactly the components are. But that's essentially what a centrifuge does anyway. Is just Well, I don't mean like centrifuge, I mean like, you know, you, when you reduce a liquid or something, you boil yeah, it. Yeah, well, something. if you boiled blood, you the, all the proteins in it would coagulate immediately. Um, that's Black tar. Yeah. That's how you get blood pudding. He hemoglobin. That's what I was talking about. Some puddings you use with blood. Yeah, that's how you get black pudding. Um, boom, boom, boom. I don't want to try black pudding. I have no idea if it's good or not. Hey, do you like Do you like fucking summer sausage? 
No idea what that is. Uh, you like salami? Yes, I love salami. You'd be fine. It's like a, it's like a looser. It's like it's somewhere between meatloaf and salami. It's closer to salami's flavor sometimes, well, depending on who. That sounds it. fucking delicious. Then yeah, you'd be fine. Fucking ammo too. Um, did you put the magnums? Platelets. Yeah, we should ask Morbius. He would know. Morbius would know. Yeah. Kai, did you put the? Uh, oh. oh, it's in the workbench. I actually oh, made a meatloaf on Sunday. It was good. Oh, yes, the silencer. I was asking about the uh, Magnum schematic, though. Oh, hang on. Let me just... Um, do I have... Tell me I read it. 17... I can I can make a level 6. Um, it's okay. If I, you read it, that's fine. Um, I'm going seven, to get it a bit. Uh, handgun parts, 17. Do we have them? Other than that, like, we can just bang this out. Baton, steel. Where's the fucking handgun parts? Was it a 44 Magnum? Yes. Damn. Yeah, we just need yeah, ha handgun parts. Six. Let's see. I, I've got some on me. Let me see how many. How many do you have? have? Like, it's, it's basically just... Forge steel, we have that. Duct tape, we I can... i got eight. Then you need nine more. <laughs> All right. That's doable. Yeah. Um, if you find actual handguns, you can break those down for fucking weapon... Uh, for weapons parts. Yep. So I'm just looking through the weapons chest right now. There's a pipe pistol. That doesn't count. Um... Yeah, we don't have any. So, if you find handguns, you just break them, fucking scrap them. I'll do. Um, let's see. Shotgun. Metals. Storage. There we go. Mm, clotted blood is good sometimes. Uh, let's, um... Uh, Put some shotgun shells in there oh. for you. Oh, all right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, all right, so let me ditch the steel arrowheads and. Should I just be doing steel arrowhead? There we go. Two arrowheads and polymers, that's it? Steel arrowhead. No, no, not steel arrow, steel arrow. There we go. Oh, I need a fucking ranger's guide to archery? Go fuck yourself. God damn it. <laughs> lame. Fucking lame. All right. Uh, polymer. Wow, I just found 14 steel arrowheads. My senses have picked up something. Yeah, except I can't make steel arrows without a fucking guide to it. Even though I'm like a fucking master arch archer up in this bitch. Well, check the books. We never know. Um, I've right. been putting some archery stuff in there. Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume 4. Goddamn wall. Right. Now, ammo, crossbow bolts. No, nobody uses a fucking crossbow. Alright, first aid. 
that is that. No, I want um, antibiotics is what I'm after. I have the sham sandwich. I just need some nitrate. Cool. Alright, another batch of antibiotics. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Thank you, Sally. Even though I could sort of hear them pounding around on the ground out there already. Cookables, plenty of fucking meat on me. Here we go. Die, Maggie, die, die, Maggie. There we go. Any more coming this way that I should fucking. Jesus. I need to reinforce right here because apparently this is where they're trying to path in. Let's see. Are we cooking anything? No. What? I will use that. Hey there, Aspen. How you doing? Yes, vehicular bullshit. That is that is the vehicular bullshit. You notice there's stuff and stuff too. Uh, yeah. When the game first started, Maniac, Cat, Cat, Caboose, and I were just working out of this one fucking cookables box. <laughs> it's like it all belongs in cookables. <laughs> It's all, it's all cookable, really, at the end of the day. I remember a time when stuff, too, is considered a, uh, an upgrade. Oh, let's see. Master, I mean, we are not alone. Bobby came in and started upgrading everything. Um. What a bitch. Goddamn women. Yeah. Our, our storage system was fine. We knew where everything was. You, you. Yeah, it was all we in figured that. figured it out eventually. It was all in that one box. Fuck <laughs> it's right over there. Um, let's see. Oh, which one is? Okay, so it's that one. That's better. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. Medical. All right. We have 58 first aid bandages. You know what? I fucking not need to be walking around with that many. If I do, there's something that's gone horribly awry. Um, we have 72 uh, first aid bandages. And we have 25 full first aid kits and 18 antibiotics. Oh, and two plaster casts if you happen to need them. So, we are post-medical need scarcity. Hi, something happened I never thought would. I what? ran out of... Enemies, prepare for conflict. Wait, you ran out of what? Wooden frames. I had like 3,000 on my party. Oh, yeah, that'll happen. Yeah, cat was... This forest across the way, that's all artificial. That's all cats cycling trees. So, like, all these trees across the road, you just see this fucking line of trees. That's just all planted by cat. So, if you happen to need wood, cat's got some wood for you. Dirty. Mm-hmm. 100%. Turns out tonight is a witchy night for me. I'm out and about trying things together. What? Oh, tying I things together. Here. Tying things together. Oh. I'm out and about tying things together. What are you? Are you? What are you? Can you? Can you divulge your witching secrets, Aspen? What are you? What are you tying together? Um, it's the yucca. Where was the yucca? There's the yucca. Um, there's the yucca. So, we need, we need more yucca. What's um, what's our conversion rate on this? It'd be helpful if I. 
typed correctly. So a yucca seed requires five yucca fruit? Jesus Christ. What's a yucca smoothie do? It warms us up. Blueberries plus yucca plus snowball plus an empty jar equals a yucca juice smoothie. And apparently it helps us survive in severely cold environments. Whereas yucca juice is stamina regen plus water. So it, it's just 15. So wait, this is 40 water. Okay, so it's a little more hydrating than red tea. But red tea is efficient digestion as well so it makes you consume food less so it looks like yucca is not that important for outside the smoothies so red tea is probably our default go-to on this which we have a fair amount of if you're not carrying red tea then well that's on you Um, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. My sexual harasser is open again. Those of you wondering why I keep calling Jen a sexual harasser is because she is a sexual harasser. This, this woman sex regularly sexually harasses Cat and myself. Not Caboose. Congratulations. For some reason. I can make my payment for the Duke now. She's a, she's a horrible person. A horrible person. She specifically only harasses the gay guys. <laughs> and, and, and she literally has, like, concluded a quest, like, by saying, oh, thank God. I, um, was it, oh, thank God, I had that protection payment coming up. So she's, like, sexually harassing us into running quests for her, and at the same time she's doing it because she's fucking in debt to the mob. <laughs> like, she's fucked up all around. It's like, don't bring me into your fucked up situation. Um, okay, what do we want? I got improved fittings mod, 7.62 ammo, 60 rounds, a level 3 steel chest piece, a level 3 hunting knife, or a level 3 claw hammer. We can pick two of them. Does anybody have any needs out of that list? Yeah, and there's nothing I particularly need out of that. Nope. I mean, rifle ammo? Uh, I can make more. It's free. <clears throat> it's free, man. We're taking 60 rounds. Um, sell price then. Okay, that steel chest armor has a sell price of 860. Uh, let me just go ahead, turn right around, and sell that back to you. Okay. Down and done skis. All right, what you got? What you got? <clears throat> um, solar banks. I mean, actually, it might be more efficient to buy fucking solar banks than make them, frankly. Um, given the treasure run we've been doing. Fucking A. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, fuck that. Let's just get another one. Cool. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Yeah, don't talk to me. Um. <clears throat> oh, come Boost, you're here. There we go. Well, I'm a ways away. Well, I know, but like, you know. I sent you, you know, the thing. Yeah, I just realized that. Okay, tapped into the flow offered from the freight moving on the rail through town. I've connected to, to the freeway in Portland and tried to latch on here to less fruitful results. The first taste of what it offered is promising. Interesting. Uh, yeah, AJ. Still live. Um, hold on. Yeah, we're not in VC. Now, AJ, you run a you run a fucking show. Like, if you want to jump on the air with us, by all means. I mean, we're playing Seven Days to Die, but you're welcome. AJ's just walking home from a, a comedy show. Or, well, I, I assume. I assume. He says, he just says show. And given that he's a, you know, practicing, like, stand-up comic... I presume that that means, you know, he's coming home from a gig, but... Like, how you say practicing like he's a Christian or something? <laughs> it sort of is a religion when you get to know them. Um, but yeah, you jump, jump into VC, AJ, and I'll move you over if you want. No big deal. Hmm. 
Watch your left flank. And you got one coming up from behind. I had the bandage. Watch out. Um, I brought you a thing. Here. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, what stand-up denomination? You know, uh, down to jump in. I'll try to avoid wind with the VC. Is no, 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 no. AJ, jump into voice chat. I'll move you to on air. Yeah, you can't just join on air. So jo jump into voice chat, not the on air. Uh, what stand-up denomination? I don't know. We'll have to ask him. I don't know if he's observational comedy. I don't know what kind of comedy stylings AJ has. Straight from the Chappelle books. And Ricky Gervais talk about transphobia for ten oh, yeah. solid minutes. I mean, does it sell tickets? Yes. Well then, <laughs> it'll play. Uh, I you there, AJ? Carlinist or Brucean disciple? Um, the night Lenny Bruce was arrested for profanity, um, George Carlin was sitting, a young George Carlin was sitting in the audience. George Carlin is nothing more than a disciple of Lenny Bruce. So I would count them of a, at least of a, a you know, similar sect. Um, I would go... You have Seinfeld versus Carlin versus Stanhope versus Carrot Top. These would be the four four primary disciplines of comedy if I were to like look at them. You have purely observational, um, where is Jer uh, Jerry Seinfeld? You have philos still observational but philosophical as well as straying into an understanding, greater understanding of things like slapstick and greater wordplay and heightened intellectual investigations, right? That's Carlin. When you use your commie to be like, yeah, okay, I'm going to consciously manipulate this room and bring them across the line with me, right? Then you have your Stan Hopes, which are your sort of Bill Burr f falls into this category as well. Um, Louis C.K. does as well. Um, that cross the line for like a more hedonistic reason. That it is the guttural shit joke. It is the penis joke. It is the fetish of comedy. Um, and then you have Carrot Top, which is sort of, I'm, you know, you're, um, well, I suppose it'd be five. There'd be Carrot Top. You're like outside comedy. This is um, magicians, prop comedians, um, even like comedic mentalists. They all fit into this category. And then you'd have your fifth one, Pure Hack. Just pure hack. Um, Dane Cook most of the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Carlin Carlos and, Mencias? Yes. Um, Care Top, Gallagher. Yeah, exactly. Same same crew. Um, Carlin and Stanhope all the way. I, You know, I, I will forever. Carlin put me on the path that allowed me to understand Stanhope. And, like, you know. Yeah. So, yes, they are they are both forever. But Carlin uh, uh, Carlin is probably the greatest stand up to ever exist, and Stan Hope is probably the greatest living stand up. So, um, barely. <laughs> that dude's being held together by booze and duct tape at this point. Uh, I'm not kidding you. Fucking, he's got like I don't know if he got his inguinal hernia fixed. But like he just he's like, yeah, you learn to work with stuff. So like his inguinal hernia, which is your traditional like abdominal territory hernia. He's got two. Um, but like if he like sneezes or coughs suddenly, um, it will push that hernia out. 
And so what he does is he describes it as sort of like a cheerleader high kick at the same time he has to sneeze or cough. And that'll pro- apply abdominal pressure that'll hold the hernia in. He's got money to go to a doctor. He just refuses. <laughs> so, right? Like, he's he's absolutely fucking mad. Um, fucking, oof, inguinal hernia is brutal. It is. It is. But the guy's fucking crazy as shit. Yeah, he, he was telling stories a decade and a half ago about, like, dude, I'm surprised he's dead. He isn't dead. Like, he's just one of those fuckers that just does everything wrong and will die at, like, 85. He smokes packs a day. He drinks so much every day. He was in Alaska hanging out with his best friend, Matt Becker, years ago. He used to tell this, told the story, like, a decade and a half ago or some shit about how um, he was pissing in the woods, like, 15 20 feet from where everybody was hanging out and one of the people's like dude is that your piss like you need to go to a fucking doctor man <laughs> like they could smell him from like 15 20 feet away it was just fucked his kidneys are fucked his liver is fucked his he's just a walking mess how is he still alive again well, he's he'll don't out need cat to give me an m60 when He'll, uh, hey, Nez. Um, he's just one of those fuckers that will outlist us all. Uh, I've seen a few people like that. None as, none as funny as him, though. Yeah, well, he's a once in a lifetime. My kid got one at the beginning of the pandemic, had to wait months to get a surgery. Oof, Carpe, that's rough. Um, from my personal experience, the last thing you have to worry about is the abs when you have that type of hernia. He's also, uh, he's got one of the, uh, the transverse ones. That's the, uh, the separation of the abdominal wall that, uh, pregnant women tend to get these hernias. Um, he's got one of those. He's got one of the pregnant lady hernias in addition to the inguinal. So yeah, he's again, a piece of work. (laughs) Uh, He's held together by the crystallized sugar from the booze, basically. Uh, yeah, I, you know, hey. We've got the best prices in the wasteland. Um, Jesus Christ, I can't. All right, you know what? Back up, back up, back up. I can't fucking see shit because of my stupid fucking flaming weapon. All right, there we go. Oh, God, this chick, Carpe? No, this chick's horrible. She's a horrible person. She sexually harasses Kat and I on a regular basis. She fucking desperately asks for our help only because she's indebted to the fucking mob. She'll totally, despite us helping her, I'll work off her debt to the mob. If we were dying of a preventable infection and didn't have money to pay for the antibiotics, this bitch would stand there and watch us die slowly. Fuck this capitalist whore. <laughs> Fuck that. No, this character's a horrible, horrible person. Um. If you do this for me, I- this is dangerous work. But I believe you can handle it. Yeah, see that? Hear that happiness? This is dangerous work. Fucking. She didn't give a shit. Just so she doesn't have to do it. Yeah, sorry, it's just business. Trust me. If that building wasn't protected with some fucking magic dev spell that is completely indestructible and, like, immune to all damage and teleports us away after hours, trust me, that building wouldn't exist. We'd have, we'd have blown that shit up as soon as she gave us our bicycles. Hey, Karina, you said you needed a silencer? No, I got one. Oh, all right. Thank you, though. All right. Yeah, I built, like, two of them back at base. All right. Where are they coming from? So do they spawn? I think they spawn on digging. 
Uh, they spawn, like, every time you meet, reach a milestone in the mission. Uh, okay, well, I'm like... There we go. Let me try again, AJ. Some people's Discord does not respond well My to being moved. Sorry, it's not working for you, AJ. Oh, hey, Karina. In books, there's a Pistol Pete Volume 4 in there. I think she's dead yet. Falling apart, the trick will keep them from degrading. I've got a bad feeling about this. The game, 9mm weapons have 20% more damage than the game. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll take a look at it. There we go. Night. 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 You're welcome. Die, 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 die. Alright, here's what we can do. AJ, go to, um, give me a sec here. Oh, god damn it, I moved too far away from the fucking quest. It was, uh, b buried supplies. Uh, well, you know what? You cost me this fucking quest. I'm just gonna murder you first. There we go. Um, alright. There we go. Everybody dead? Cool. Alright. AJ, I'm gonna disconnect you. Join VC. There we go. Caboose, you can still hear me, right? Caboose? Hello? Okay, there we go. Um, AJ, join VC and you can go from there. How about now? Yeah, I don't hear you, AJ. Oh, oh, I just got in. There you go. Perfect. How you guys doing tonight? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, how was the show? I assume it was your own gig, right? Yeah, I, uh, I, I have been going out to uh, see just more shows and to support my friends. But yeah, I was. Uh, it was a performance night, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, did you uh, did you crack any jokes that were completely inappropriate? I I do have a joke about how um, <laughs> I it, I make a lot of jokes about being suicidal and that obviously like sets the crowd off a little bit to be like worried about me. But I'll end and be like, don't worry guys, don't worry about me committing suicide until you've seen me do porn. Once I've done porn, then you can start worrying about me. And a lot <laughs> of people <laughs> try to like look down on you when you say that, and they're just like. They'll try to like hit you with these weird <coughs> informational tidbits that they don't know about porn, where they're just like, "Oh, yeah, but like, do you know what that room sure. smells like?" Yeah, and I'm just like, I don't know. It probably smells like a bunch of people fucking. Like, I don't really know mm. what to tell you. And I, I've had people be like, "Oh, you know, if you go into porn, they're gonna make you do gay porn for like a decade first. And I'm like, "That's a funny thing to say, considering I never said what porn I'd go into. <laughs> <laughs> Pays better as well. 
yeah, I don't, dude, I'll suck a dick for a fucking grand at least. And yeah. like, if they're gonna pay me more than that, I'm in. Yeah, I used to fuck with this dude I knew years ago when we were still both young fucking twinks, and he was as stray as they come. Um, ish. Um, well, his girlfriend, either way. We won't, uh, well, that's a side, that's a different story entirely. Uh, but I used to fuck with him all the time. I'd be like, dude, I know, I know, dude, I can get you 10,000 tomorrow if you want to do porn. No, like, you're, you're, you're a straight dude. You're a virgin. You're a good looking twink. I'm like, dude, we can, we can get this done. Like, let's just fucking, let's do it, man. You want some cash? Like let's See, fuck. I need, I need to grow up with friends like you. All my friends were like, "Oh, you shouldn't do porn. That's fucking heathen shit." I'm like, none of us are religious. What are you talking about? Fuck yeah, get the job done, man. Fuck. Especially because I, I do not have like a like. I guess it's pansexual, but like I just, I just don't have a fucking limit or a bar. Like I don't know, guys want to hook up, sure. Girls want to hook up, sure. Both, everything in between, sure. This is a dangerous one. Try not to um. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so I dropped a take tonight that needs to be turned into a joke. And, <laughs> yeah. Um, like here's some like here's here's just rough material, right? Um, so I was making fun of the fucking Texas parents who mm -hmm. stood who stood by while their kids were shot inside, like fish in a barrel, because the fucking yep. cops t told them not to. And people were like, well, they you know they got pepper sprayed and they got tased. I'm like, yeah, so did leftists, but we still went back and fucking fought more. Right? What are you gonna? Yeah. What like? Does your kid not matter as much? Like, there's something there. There's something in there. Making fun of the parents for <laughs> letting for letting their children die. It's fucking dark, but it's also kind of perfect for my material. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's. I, you get me. Like, you know, yeah. it's, it's like, dude, that's perfect. Fucking, there's something in there somewhere. The, the idea that one day they have to, like, let's say, like, it's religious families and they have to meet their kid one day and the kid's like, why didn't you come in and save me? He's like, oh, the, the authorities told me not to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, there's, there's something fucked. It's, 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 the whole thing's just predicated upon an entirely fucked up idea, right? Yeah. But I was like, you know, like, I really think I might be the first person to, like, on stream, like, I'm gonna just go to plant my flag here. I'm like, dude, fucking, the, like, called the parents out. I'm like, <laughs> what the, what the fuck, man? Like, you just let the state tell you no while your kids, like, literally were shot like fish in a barrel? Yeah, that's, honestly, there is 100%, like, jokes to be made there, because it's, that's literally one of the many things I talk about, where it's just like, bro, you're just going to let this, let the, I right, guess, that's provincial yeah. government for us, but you're just going to let police tell you what to do, and that's a good example of a time when the police are like, eh, don't go in, and you're like, why don't you fucking suck my asshole? Yeah. Oh yeah, we were to, we were hypoth we were running hypotheticals earlier. Imagine if that had gone the other direction. Actually, what those headlines would be if those fucking parents drew down on those cops. Oh my god! I honestly, I live for the dimension that has that. Yeah, right. Like that's a, that's that's a whole other conversation, right? Those Texas fuck. This is the this is the joke, right? Like it's fucking dude, Texas. Don't mess with Texas. Fucking bunch of right wing gun owners, right? Like it, it fuck, like. Dude, like I, I, I don't know. Like that's the thing is like that one. Like there's, there's at least, like I don't know if they're. Dude, some of them are gonna be uh, Hispanic. A good portion of them are gonna be Hispanic. But I don't know how many of them are gonna be Republican. I don't know how many of them are gonna be conservative. But there is an argument to be made. Hey, caboose. Um, fancy finding you out oh, here. Shit. I yeah, I got a quest out here. I didn't expect. So do I. Hey, what you got? Uh, clear zombies. Oh, I got one of the ones at pow uh, power at night. Um, let me, uh, you know what? Let's join up. All right, I'll see if I can share it. I will share mine. Oh, shit, it might be too late to share. I mean, if he just helps you on the mission and kills zombies, he's collecting his mission. Yeah, well, I shared mine. Don't worry about it. Um, if you've, I mean, I <laughs> if you've started yours and you stood in clear... Um, but yeah, no, I do think that there is a conversation there. Like on my side, I think there's a conversation there about, you know, following orders of the state, right? Like that's definitely our conversation. Like, but also I think there's some ripe fucking material for the, the comic with a pair of balls. Is it 89? Yeah. I thought it was 87, uh, girly. Um, I thought it was 87%, but yeah, 89, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, Hey, cool. All right. Hold on. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think that material could kill. I just have to be very careful about crafting it. That being yeah. said, I am a sucker for jokes that nobody is willing to make. I mean, all my, 
all my jokes are about wanting to fucking kill myself, and somehow that's successful because I have the ability to at least make... And this is weird to say, but I can make suicidal ideation kind of relatable. All right, so, yeah. Um, so yeah. I definitely feel like this wouldn't be outside of my wheelhouse to be like, isn't it weird that, like, a bunch of Texans let the police tell them not to save their kids? Like, I thought... Yeah. I thought Texas was the Lone Star State. I thought everybody was a lone gunman badass. Why, like, what? Yeah, I think there's a button to be pushed there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was, I was like, dude, I was, I was, I brought it up earlier. I'm like, look, I'm not saying, but I mean, I am saying, like, you stood by. Like, the first instinct I would have would be like, when they told me I can't go in, I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. And I'd just walk away. And I'd go get some shit done. Yeah. Right? Like, okay, where aren't the cops? I'd start surveying the area. Like, I did, but the police said no. Like, and? What, yeah. what, what fucking conversation are you having with yourself that, that that doesn't just stop right there? And be like, oh, okay, these people are not here to help my child. They're, yeah, they're here for their paychecks, which is a weird thing for the job that's supposed to be for the brave and the bold. Like, that's just fucking, that conversation ends right then and there, right? Like, what, what you yeah. doing? Like, they, I, they, they wouldn't even cuff me because they'd be like, you can't go in. I'd be like, I understand, officer. Turn around, walk away, go around the building. Yeah, you immediately find a new in point of ingress. You're just like, all right, peace out. Fucking, what? My senses have picked up something. What you doing? Oh, hey, Caboose. Yeah? I got amazing news for you. What? I just found you a personal drone. Oh, shit. You get a drone, too. Congratulations. It's a level six personal robotic drone here. Hell yeah. Also, check out what I have. Flaming knife? Flaming knife. Yep. Flaming, Flaming machete. Knife. Flaming machete. Hell yeah. So, yeah, you just, like, set the drone, like, put it in your inventory, and uh, put it in your hotbar, and then just, like, right-click it. Down. And there you go. That's how you activate it. Et voila. Hey. Fairly decent slots. Yeah. It's got a little bit of inventory. And, you know, it tells you, like, it legitimately does give me a heads up, like, at a distance sometimes. Sometimes you'll be like, yeah, I'm aware of that zombie. But other times, like, she'll go off and, like, uh, there's something going on. And then there will be a zombie shortly. And you're like, yeah, no, I got a heads up on that. So, yeah, I, I legit like it. Is this a modded device? Uh, it's not. It's oh. just fucking a thing. That's awesome. <clears throat> I've got a bad um, the world needs more ideation comedy. It might be more treatable if it wasn't so taboo. Master, <clears throat> and you get a drone. And you get a drone. And you get a drone. Everybody gets a drone. I mean, for sure. Who, what, did someone say that on your chat or in like yeah. uh, Discord? Meet, uh, yeah, Meat Toad in chat. Oh, the uh, yeah, that's Carpe. Uh, the world needs more ideation comedy. Yeah, I, that's that's a big thing, Carpe, is that I, I specifically do this kind of humor because A, it's really the only thing I know, and B, I can at least rest on the fact that if anyone tries to come up to me and be like, ugh, you're making fun of bleh, I'm like, first of all, it's, it's my reality. Secondly, it's so important that we make light of it, that we make serious moments out of it that we talk about it. I don't really care what form of conversation we have around ideation. Very important that we just, we all just get real comfortable with it. Okay. Oh, is there somebody? Oh, there's somebody here. There you go. Hi, Jack. All right, so if I remember correctly, the easy way to like cheat this one was to use boxes up on this ledge it was something like there yes it, it is fun doing my brand Ooh. of comedy because I, I get to go up on stage and basically tell everyone like I'm here to ruin your night I'm here to put an end to fun 
And then like I do my bit, but I constantly push back. Like when they're laughing, I'm like, guys, I said no fun. Oh, and I like somehow being the completely. dampener makes me more fun to everyone. I have completely glitched. Oh no. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Can you destroy these I've boxes, Caboose? I was inside the box. I saw. <laughs> that was weird as shit, man. Ooh, hang on. Hang on. What? By the way, what, not not to dox you, but what time is it in in uh, like oh, Vegas? Where we're, you are? We're Pacific. Pacific. That's it. So we're two thirty. Okay, cool. Yep. I'm walking home in the bright sunshine of 5:40 a.m. Um. So. Hang on. A while. Yeah. 5:30. Yeah, we're going down there. I've run this area before. Yeah, we're we're it's it's a bank robbery we're going into. There's a bunch of it's a little bit of environmental storytelling here actually. Oh no. yeah, this one. Yeah, the bank robbery. <clears throat> Um, you have to stop catering to people who can't relate, says Carpe. Uh, I absolutely agree, Carpe. It is, <laughs> that is the funny thing. Like, I'll talk about how good it feels to do comedy well when you talk about depression. But man, oh man, I can't describe how fucking awful it is when the entire crowd is just like, not our vibe. Oh, hey now. I actually, um, I, not that I did it on Twitter or through space or anything, but like someone posted like an Elon Musk thing talking about how like, ooh, comedy is about whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, bro, Elon, go in front of an audience of strangers who don't know who you are and make them like relate to your fucking pain and your trauma and like laugh about it. Cause like Elon Musk being like, ooh, like you're not funny. This is how comedy works. It's like, bitch. You don't even know the first thing about the science behind this absolute insane art form. Don't walk around pretending that you can do math to understand comedy. You can never be funny because you're woke. <laughs> well, yeah, isn't that the struggle? Okay. It's <laughs> my bad. I, I can't I can't make it in comedy because I refuse to punch down at trans people. Fuck. I'll never make it. Oh, there's actually some stuff in here this time. Last time I was in here, dude, that was fucking dry as shit. They were all paper. No. Um, yeah, I was going to say, breaking into a bank robbery at the end of the world is not a lot of money. It's all safety deposit boxes and shit. It's all like contracts and wills. Ah, even better. Um, For fire. Let's see. All right, all right. That's worth learning. Take it all. all right. Um. Yeah, I. Uh, Stanhope describes his comedy as fetish comedy. <laughs> and I'm in Jim Norton, I would argue, but yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. There's a category. Like it's it's there's a category. Like the the, the guys who. Uh, I just got a heads up on an enemy. Um. So did I. Isn't it great? My yeah. drone doing its work. Um, I, I, those guys are the ones doing all the interesting work. Mm -hmm. That's, that's as far as I'm concerned. Like the, the, the edge of comedy lies with the ones who are willing to like do some really fucking tough, weird introspection and live in life and having like, you gotta, oh God, like we need, we need the outsiders to be running comedy yeah. right now like that's just it, you, the edge runners are, are the ones who should be working comedy right now yeah like, well it's, it's interesting that this um this month in montreal at least um we're I, I signed up for it let's see what happens but we're organizing a comedy like union to like actually have people spend their comedy um allowance they get from the venue on the actual comics because literally none of us get paid ever that's kind of bullshit yeah well I, I definitely didn't get paid tonight uh could let's see so you guys are it's just not that no one gets paid just like sometimes we get paid <sighs> 
That's um, yeah, that's a situation that needs rectifying. Yeah, I, as soon as some a few of my comedian friends posted about uh, the link about the new comedy union of people like banding together to be like, look, we don't want to perform for your for your mic if you're not even gonna give us like fucking five dollars on the way out the door. If you can't pay comedians anything, you shouldn't be running the show. Oh God, Exalt! God damn you! Um. I just bought a company and the right to say I started it, and boy, is my arm tired, says Carpe. Yeah, fucking Musk is a piece of work. Uh, Exel said, this reminds me of the scene from Morbius, where Jared Leto gets on his knees and eats out Matthew McConaughey's filthy ass, and shit dribbles down Leto's mouth. Um, I remember that scene. We, dude, we've been doing a fucking Morbius thing all night. I'm so glad that Morbius has caught on for all the wrong reasons, and the studio is just going to prove how out of touch it is. Yeah, no, I 100%. I'm in, I'm in favor of it. I got it immediately. I was like, holy shit, the young ones are acting. This is a good... I like it. I like it. I, I understand this. This is funny. <laughs> this is proper funny. Like, <laughs> like, all right, let's do this. Like, well, fuck it. Yeah, let's, this is punching up. This is what society should be doing, right? What's punching up for an entire society? Fucking cool. shitting on a multi-billion dollar movie that thought it had something to say. Yeah, like that's 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 us punching up. Like that's that's us being like, yeah, look, we got jokes. <laughs> What's up? I, I saw someone posting about like if we can meme the second movie into existence, it would be a, like a new level. And I'm honestly, I'm for it. No. Meme that shit into existence. No, I think it. I think that is like uh, an evolution of postmodernism that some people like are not ready for but i think most are i think that yeah. like most of like the people who are going to be consuming those movies are so steeped in an element of postmodernism <laughs> at this point that we all understand what's going on <laughs> and we're just sort of like yeah i it, dude it's morbid time 100 <laughs> percent. it's a hundred percent morbid time I was thinking about you when I saw the post about, like, let's meme Morbius into the fucking actual cinemas. Like, let's make a second Morbius purely on memes. Because the companies, like, they'll see their name trending, and they don't look at why it's trending. They're just like, oh, we're trending. We've been trending for, like, six months straight. Let's make another movie. But, like, I think Morbius, and when I thought of you, I was like, if they meme Morbius 2 into existence, then Kai's theory on there is no separation between reality and internet is proven golden, rock salt. Like, already, I agree with you. But nobody can argue it past that point. We made a fucking multi-billion dollar movie or multi-million dollar movie out of meme culture. Yeah, there is no longer a separation. I, dude, I, I, yeah, I, I, I firmly am on board with memeing a fucking multi-million dollar property into existence and making fun of a corporation that just pfft, yeah sure man this is like literally it's it's the movie equivalent of like hello fellow younglings and you're like Ugh. yeah dude it's yeah it is it's the steve buscemi fucking thing you're like jesus christ <laughs> like it's literally they walk amongst us sort of situation right like the internet allows my senses have picked up something corporations to like walk amongst us in a very real way mm-hmm and like that's dude okay let's let's see if like we can't get everybody just comfortable with the idea of intentionally manipulating this process and i think that's one of the many things that i've seen in the past like four or five years of like just like weird meme mobilization just doing weird and like interesting shit like when trump thought he was gonna have a million people at his rally and it turned out it was just a million tiktokers posting like or, or like reserving false tickets i was like bro that is so funny so caboose we have to wait until it's dark i don't know what dark equals in this game but like that's that's the quest is it's uh a restore power so oh that's depressing I just watched a teeny tiny bird go face first into a window. That sucks. Um, Isn't well, that a bad omen? Well, I mean, you know. Um, okay, so Caboose. 
there's we can do a walk through this place so have you done a restore power yet no this would be my first one okay so there's gonna be like two generators we're gonna have to like clear the area maybe but there's gonna be two generators um in either way to do what we want to do just clear the fucking area um there's gonna be two generators and you just press e on them and like it's got the the countdown timer for like lock picking but it does fuck up sometimes so you have to hit e again so there's like an rng roll on it um and so we're just trying to get a couple i a uh, couple of generators to start and survive and that's it really all righty a zomboid zombie would have climbed through that window. window. Yep. You don't frighten me, lady. <laughs> I have superior training. Oh my god. Okay, so this is... There is this story of, like, superior training. Um, Ashland Street? I want to say it's Ashland Street. I forget what the street name is. It's in Tacoma. So, back in, like... Oh god, it's the 80s or 90s and I can't it's going to be the 90s cuz he had home video. Um it, a bunch of fucking gangbangers, Crips, Crips. Fucking basically this dude moves into this neighborhood <laughs> and he's like, "Well, yeah, it's a it's it's a down on a, on its luck neighborhood, but I want to, you know, through power of community action, that sort of thing, we're going to lift it up and, you know, fight off the, you know, and but the Crips were operating, and it was a fucking drug haven. There was like 100 to 200 cars going up up and down this street, just on the regular. Well, the dude who moved in was a fucking army ranger. And he fucking, he, he decided to, like, organize a community barbecue um, to, like, as, like, a show of community force. And he invited a bunch of his ranger buddies in addition to the local community. And so the fucking Crips start some shit at, like, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And at one point, like, he, he saw the dude fucking point at him, do the fucking dry pistol move, and fucking mouth some, like, shit like you're dead or, you know, that, that crazy shit. And so <laughs> they're out there, like, throwing rocks at his, like, security camera and shit like that, right? And so he tells him, you know, knock it the fuck off. And one of them fucking tells him, I'm going to burn your, fu burn your fucking house down. And so he's like, okay. And he just walks away. He goes back in his house and fucking calls up like fit, uh, like 15 ranger buddies. And fucking literally goes, we're having a barbecue, by the way, bring a gun. Oh, no. A fucking detachment of 15 army rangers are fucking he set up rules of engagement no first actions he fucking if police engage we disarm ourselves we present you know like they had rules of engagement set up and everything and he fucking they they came up dude the estimates are like 35 to 45 crips were engaged that night around that house oh my god yes they called in like a whole fucking contingent and these dudes they had no injuries. Um, these Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. We don't know. Like, there's, we're pretty certain that the Rangers got a piece of a few of them. Because they did after action reports. Um, oh, wow. But nobody showed up at hospitals. And they cleaned the scene pretty quickly. Uh, the cops finally did show up. Um, and, and the first cop that showed up fucking rolled up and fucking quote from both sides tires smoked as he tried to get out of there and oh, no. oh the yeah cowards in blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah he's straight up fucking tires squealing trying to get the fuck out of there when he rolled up eventually they got enough fucking cops up there and they they tried to take the street but it was yeah, yeah and you know yeah like dude still lives there to this day i think uh, it was the action that caused uh, the Tacoma Police Department to, like, do some shit. Oh, finally. <laughs> 
and so like you know yeah they just they refocus to a different area and fucking they gentrify it just you know i mean nobody went for actual problem solving they just cracked skulls and moved the fucking scam you know three feet down the street just get yeah. it get it off this street boys but i mean it is a hilarious story nonetheless that like a contingent of 35 to 45 f uh crips rocked up on a uh, on a uh, 15 strong group of army rangers <laughs> and it's just it's like no you're not you're not coming near this house the yeah no fuck that the crips never breached the street basically like it was just they set up a defensive line and that was that <laughs> like you know it's like yeah right. like that's that's a funny story it's like that's supporting the military industrial call it's a funny fucking story man <laughs> and in, in all fairness it's not the it's like it's like off duty or retired guys it's not like they actually deployed the military to fight the crypt we got we got fucking leftists in our country that <sighs> they need to like square up with a certain amount of that that yeah. like you gotta if you want to do this whole restorative justice thing like, look, I'm not saying, like, we need to know, did you kill babies? Like, I mean, because we get up to some fucked up shit. Like, we do. <laughs> like, I need to know what degree of fucked up shit did you see. Like, if you shot people, I mean, fine. That's just, that is what it is. But no war crimes, right? Yeah. Like, I, I, we need to deal with that separately. But, like, and that will just be a truth and reconciliation process because, again, if we are actual leftists and we do actually believe in this bullshit, then we're, you've got to find a way to somehow come to terms with that at a society and an individual level. So, like, it just is what it is. And that's one thing that, like, I... I like being a leftist, but it's really important to me that I, like, when I got into all this like PC culture, leftism, SJWs, which I don't hate any of that, but I was always like, where is the space to get better and come back? Because anytime someone gets canceled and then comes back, everybody's like, no, we said no. And I'm like, well, hang on, where, like, what is the space to allow someone to come back? Now, I don't necessarily think like Louis CK or whatever have done the work required to come back, but also like what, like, if we're gonna put this limit on people, what, like, how do you come back from it? Yep. No, it's it's if we believe in that process, then we have to do that process. Hey, uh, Kai. Yeah. Could you come help me? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> now he's stuck in a box. Where are you? Oh. Yeah, I got you. I'll I'll run interference here. Whoa, hey now. There we go. Yes, you're. I'm next to it. Super busy highway, so let me know if I'm noisy. You're not noisy yet. You're good so far. Perfect. Thank you, Kai. You're welcome. Oh, hey, missed guy. Stop crawling, McGee. <coughs> Dude, Betty's annoy me. I mean, the irradiated ones are particularly obnoxious. Oh God, Axel. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, Non-binary. Whenever my wife is upset, I let her color in my black and white tattoos. Sometimes she just really needs a shoulder to crayon. God damn. Uh, non that one sounds worthy of a, a rimshaw. I done. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! It has a seventy percent tomato uh, tomato meter score. Yes, no, the the fucking Morbius film is absolutely terrible. I can't wait to see it. Um, and I it's garbage. Apparently, it's it. just hot garbage. It's bad, like all around. Script writing is bad. The fucking like it's just it's and it's Jared Leto. He's fucking creepy as shit, man. Um, and yes, he has a cult. Sorry, <laughs> he has a cult. Uh, look it up. I and he tries to be ironic with it, where he's like, oh, yeah, it's a cult. Ha-ha, <laughs> get it? And you're like, no, but this is a cult. Fucking hell. There we go. Um... Axel, Axel continuing. Okay, so this reminds me of the scene when from Morbius when Jared Leto gets on his knees and eats out Matthew McConaughey's filthy ass and shit dribbles down Leto's mouth. I assure you, I am not kidding. 
The way Jared tongue fucks is truly the most endearing thing I've ever witnessed. The way Jared grips Mc- McConaughey's ass. Jared's fingers just gripping into McConaughey's took us so that he can better manipulate the fart box. The way his tongue slithers. It's sensual. It's street. It's sweet. It's tear jerking. Axel. How does this not debut at Sundance? Cl- I mean, clip it, Axel. Clip it. It's it's worthy of a clip, Axel. If you want to get at it, get at it. Let's see. All right. The top of this building makes a fairly decent sniper's nest. Yeah, I imagine it would, huh? Ooh. Yeah, up here. Oh, fuck you. Come here. Just come here. Oh, watch out. There's a vulture. Right. My sensors I see have picked up something. All right. Um, yeah, this is really good up here. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Caboose, caboose, caboose. What? I found a cooking pot. God damn it. Cooking some pot. Cooking pot. We have found that we had 37. That makes 38. I sold off a whole bunch. But... How much money did you get from it? Uh, a few hundred. It's not much. No, it's not. But, you know, like, she refused to buy any more cooking pots. <laughs> Straight up broke the market. Uh, Wee. All right. So, I don't... This is not nighttime. The sun is still up. So. um, <laughs> Yeah, dude, I can't wait to see Morbius. Dude, 100% Morbin time. That that movie is fucking just like, are you kidding me? This is just gonna be a fucking train wreck. I've I've heard I watched the pitch meeting for it. Yes. And so like that that always contains spoilers. Um. <laughs> yeah, like some of some of his quick criticisms are you know it's like yeah dude this is dude this is slapdash. <laughs> This this script is this is a first draft. What are you doing? What are you doing here? This is this is not. There's just plot holes you could drive anything through. <laughs> You're just like, oh okay, because reasons. Yeah. There's oh my God. there's gonna be a there's gonna be there's gonna be a bunch of because reasons in that movie. Just like across, just yeah, because reasons. That's just let it go, man. Just, just come along for the ride that is going to be Jared Leto's performance in Morbius. It's Morbin time. Yep. It feels like if people started playing it and paying to play it at theaters later, like in a couple of years, it could become like its own Rocky Horror. Oh, okay, so <clears throat> we're waiting until 2200, Caboose. All righty. That's the time. Uh oh. Oh hey. Oh. Oh, interesting. So there's an item in this game called Skull Crushers that do fifty percent melee damage up for five minutes. Oh yeah, I put a few of those in the uh, locker. Interesting. Or the uh, the medical thing. All right. I have a confession. I haven't seen Morbius either. Says Axel. Dun dun dun. You've saved yourself a lot of trouble. Oh no, no, we're we're gonna fucking dude. We're gonna watch that shit. Like, oh, we gotta definitely do it for a Friday movie. Night. Everybody's everybody's gonna fucking like that. That's just gonna be required. Fucking co- no, that's gonna be like required societal knowledge. If this meme catches on, people are gonna want to know what the fuck. Like, oh, is this the mo- movie that the meme came from? Yes, this is that movie. <laughs> yes, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> it's not going to be good. Just people that are, like, watching the whole movie, like, how does Jared Leto, d- Leto deliver the line, it's Morbin time? No, 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 you misunderstand. Yeah, uh, Exol says, but I have seen Morbius, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Oh, see, a unisex bathroom. <clears throat> oh, so progressive. Keep your politics out of my video game. 
<laughs> there. <laughs> now, how do I know it's a bathroom? Oh, wait, it's not a bathroom. I don't know. How do you know? <laughs> it's not a bathroom. <laughs> not anymore. Yep. You solved that problem, too. Look at you. Way ahead of me, Caboose. More BS2. More BS. Oh, God. Spelled like M O R E? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Morbius More 2. More BS. Hey, Kai. <laughs> Want to see some uh, s some more uh, environmental storytelling? Yeah. Hang on. Where are you? Let's see. You're over there. I, I don't even Bro. know what to give you, XL. I need something between a rim shot, a standing ovation, and a trombone slide to, like, and kind of a face palm. Like, I don't, I need a few things to, like, convey what I feel. All right. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is, I mean... Yeah, I got my, I fucking, yeah, there's syringes on this fucking plate. Like, all of the medical thing looks like this anyway. It's a stock asset for them. Uh, but, nonetheless, right? There's, like, there's syringes of shit in there. Like, and, you know, mm, do what you got to do, man. I mean, you know, if there's not a, there enough on the pile to get the job done, then you got to improvise. I, uh, I just walked past a dollar store. There's a there was like a fucking bag inside that had a bad pun that said like I'll be bag on it and I was like okay honestly I'd rather hear anybody's puns from the chat than that. I but I, then the, the go ahead. No 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 I was just I'm still admiring Axel's work. <laughs> the bag next to it I had to stop for a second because it said the best is yet to come and I'm like wait where the fuck did I hear that quote. And I'm like, wait, isn't that that unhinged shit that Kimberly Guilfoyle yelled at, like, the RNC? And I'm like, bro, like, these, these fucking MAGA morons literally, like, quote, like, bad fucking tags from Dollarama bags. Oh, uh, Caboose. How far away? Come, come to me, Caboose. I'll point this out. I'm up, just so you know. I'm on oh, the, okay. Yeah, I'm like... I'm in between the buildings on that little roof divot. Hey there. This is a generator. I kind of took it. Yeah. Or figured. Yeah, that's, that's, we're going to do a click and hopefully it'll start, but probably not. And, you know, fucking, it, you know, if it goes all the way, then it's just a countdown, but you will be locked into it. So, like, if zombies are swarming you, that's sort of, you know. So clear the zombies first. It is it is a factor. I find. Um, yeah. <laughs> Just thought, you know, bring that up. E falling out of windows. I don't have fall damage. Um <clears throat> I think Shia clapping might convey that feeling. You know what? Yeah. Aspen. Um, Axel, Shia clapping. That's what I feel. That actually works. S sleep well. Sweet dreams, Axel. I'm Fuck. jealous of you, Axel. I'm still walking. Fucking Jesus Christ. More BS2. More BS. It's, yeah, it's good work. He's, he, Axel said, I'm, I'm leaving on a high note. That's solid work, man. I literally made the mistake of like thinking with my dick and there was this like absolute hardcore total like I don't know how to describe it just like fucking shit attitude UK British chick at the show and I literally was like oh I'm just gonna hang out with you all night and now I'm fucking walking home for two hours and I'm like good job AJ real smart fucking move oh AJ what you doing man Oh, I mean nothing, because I do have, like, a committed girlfriend. I just, I love the UK accent. It's so rare in fucking Montreal. I was like, oh, damn, I'm just going to hang out with this chick all night while she roasts me. And now I'm like, this was the worst fucking decision I've made in a long time. Yeah, it's uh, not the most brilliant, I've heard. I mean, I've heard oh. worse. I've done worse. But, like, you know. 
usually doesn't end in a two hour walk home because you're right in the middle of fucking buses stop and start. I, you know, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a car driver. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you live the it's, high it's, life. It's, 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 well, it's interesting that there's, there is actually like, it's not just that, like, okay. So there's like the three categories, right? You know, there's the, there's the broke, there's the, I use public trans- transportation uh, and then there's the car, right? Like this is just like in speaking to European audiences, you, European people, like that sort of thing. Like you, you know, you end up with that. I don't drive. Be- I don't know how to drive because I have a reliable public transportation system. Yeah. Uh, um, and then there's like our car having asses, and it's like the, the, there is like that is an increasing divide within like you see on especially on Reddit like fuck cars is catching on like people are not happy with the concept of building a world around the car in in increasing numbers. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm glad some people are thinking about that. So like. Yeah. You know, like it's a conversation that's starting to be had more often, I find. I've mentioned it before in chat, but it is one of the things I appreciate. It's one of the reasons I'm so hopeful is because I just remember growing up as a kid and like all these conversations about like openness and and, and free, like fr- living your best life in your free life, whether it be like gay, trans, bi, whatever. And, like, I remember a time when, like, nobody was talking about that. No one was allowed to talk about that. It was taboo. And now, like, in 20 years, it's become, like, a completely different thing. It's not. It's still an issue where people are, like, I don't know, right wings are shitting on it. But for the most part, like, the world is generally accepting of, like, this new culture. Mm. I don't know. Although I I say new, but it's been I don't. Well, no, I don't. My hang up isn't. My hang-up is fucking, I don't think the world is ready. <laughs> fucking by a yeah, long it, shot. It's, it does seem like it's happening by force, and the, the rich and the right wing are literally doing everything in their power to stop it from moving forward. But yeah, like, it's, it's a little okay. hope that these, like, dark room conversations are now big, loud conversations people are having on mass scale. Okay, so the, the, the ominous music caboose is nighttime. Now we know. <laughs> All right. That is literally the, the official start. Um, okay, here we go. Let's do it. Good luck and Godspeed. We're all counting on you. Master, we are not alone. And, uh, wake him up. There you Oh, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to tell you. A cop tried to climb through my window last week. Uh, that's a thing that I would generally discourage. Yeah. Well, can you, can you guess what I have had in my window for the last week that probably made the cops think they could bust in on me? Uh, some a sort bong? of, some sort of flag, symbol. It was a, yeah, it was an anti-bill, like it was a crossed out Bill 96, flag, like big ass poster. Okay, so Bill 96 is... The uh, the affirmation that uh, French people deserve better lives in Quebec and English people are uh, scum of the earth. Okay, so that's... I understand that, but what is it functionally... What Under what cover terminology are they using that this bill does? Okay, so yeah, this is kind of the wild thing. Um, it doesn't really hide itself the way that you used to. Like, a lot of people are pretty awestruck. It literally, um, if you have 25 or more employees, the entire company has to operate in French. And if you do not operate in French, they can search and seizure over literally one English email in a company that more than 25 people. That's just one of them. Uh, Sejep will have to cap how many English people they let in. And they'll also have to allow new allowances to let French people in. Um, you need six months, you have six months when you immigrate to Quebec to learn French. And then they're kind of vague about what happens after six months if you don't know French. Um, they did a bunch of shit to try and like placate English people by being like, oh, like if you're a legacy Anglo, none of this applies to you. And I'm like, well, first of all, what is a legacy Anglo? Secondly, how do you like, are we going to get fucking arm patches that say we're legacy Anglo? Like, I don't get it. Uh, there's a uh, 
trying to remember all the stuff. Oh my god, it's it's genuinely so thick, and there's like ten amendments to other bills inside of it that like change them to be more okay. French focused. Now we just have to clear the place. Um, I think, uh, yeah, government officials do not have to address you in English anymore. They can address you in French, and if you can't understand them, like, come see, come saw, buddy. Lovely. Yeah, so it's, and so many people, including myself, like, it's why we protest it, and that's why we're freaking out, because we're genuinely like, bro, this thing is so vague and so restrictive. What the absolute fuck are we going to do? Like, how, how do we exist with this bill? It's just so vague, you can arrest anyone for anything. Probably the point. Yeah. Well, that's the worst part. Yeah. Is it like Quebec has been doing this for years where it's literally just doing legislation to try and make the English feel unwanted and leave on their own accord. Unfortunately, they keep doing this. So, and English isn't really going anywhere and it's still skyrocketing in percentages because this city is emptying out of people. So, more people from other countries and places are moving in. And Quebec is like, I don't understand. Uh, where is our French going? It's like, bro, you're literally emptying the city. Anyway, the biggest thing about the bill that I absolutely love is they um, completely, they constantly talk about how French is dying as a language and everyone has to learn French and like do their best to raise their kids pure French. But this bill completely ignores that over the exact same time frame that they quote French has been dying, bilingualism has skyrocketed. But that's not what they want. I am completely lost. Which is, again, super fun because it's an actual, like, free speech issue. And we had the truck convoy pass through town for, like, freedom. And you're like, uh, hey guys, like, over here in Quebec, actual freedom of speech is, like, being, in, like, eroded. What are, you, what are you guys doing? And they're like, well, we're really only really about the mass mandates. Yeah, well, you know. I still giggle that the American convoy went through Oakland and the people in Oakland just egged it. Yeah. That's such an Oakland thing to do. <laughs> Oakland was like, ah, why don't you get out? Why don't you get fucked? I mean, you know. They're not wrong. Hey, a window that says Black Lives Matter in rainbow letters. One progressive person in the city. Yeah. I wonder if that person had cops like flying through the window. Okay, so I don't know what happened with the cop, but literally like I woke up one morning to my dog like having an absolute flip out. And I'm like, okay, well I guess I guess Jenny will stop him in a minute. I didn't know this because Poe I woke up to Poe barking so consistently I couldn't hear the shower running. So after like a minute of Jenny not stopping him, I'm like, oh for fuck's sake. So I get up, I walk out in my underwear, I'm like, oh, what are you doing? And then I look up and there's a cop, like a female cop, literally like waist deep in my apartment from the window. And I'm like, uh, fucking excuse me? They're like, oh, can you uh, open the front door? And I'm like, just standing there in my underwear, like, what the fuck? And they're just like, oh, just come open the door. And I'm like, in my fucking underwear? And they're like, oh, uh, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I put on pants and a shirt and I take my sweet fucking time. And I go downstairs, open the front door, and they're like, Ugh, and I'm already fucking close, like slamming my apartment door. Like, I, I have no fucking interest in talking to a cop, especially one that like just tried to crawl through my window, but I'm not stupid enough to like engage with police officers. Like, I was just like, get in the fucking building, go deal with whatever you're fucking here for, and literally fucking never fucking interact with me again. Caboose. Yeah. Kiss. <laughs> Apparently that that hurts. Master, that that doesn't alone. that doesn't count. <laughs> like all the other shit doesn't hurt us, but apparently an auger can hurt somebody. Didn't do a whole lot of damage. Try again. Okay, it did. No, it's not doing any damage. Good, good. Well, either way, I have an auger. 
Where'd you find it? In uh, um, one of the lock crates. Oh, like yeah. a gardening tool? Uh, like a motorized auger. Frick. It's an American auger. It's America. Put a motor on everything, God damn it! <laughs> Give me that skateboard. Needs a motor. Isn't that what one wheels are? I mean, kinda, yeah. There we go. He was in there. Christ, you really do clean a room, don't you? Yeah. Why do you think we're so good on materials right now? <laughs> Jesus. I just imagine Kai walking in on Caboose literally sweeping the room like with a broom. He's just like, bro, we gotta keep it in, gotta put it in good shape. Well, Caboose, you wanna tell him? Well, I am a janitor in real life. Oh my god, I prefer custodian. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm trying to put some respect on your name. What's what's wrong? I clean shit. That's what's, what I do. What's what's <laughs> what's wrong with janitor? Take the word back. Yeah. Why why yeah, genuinely wh nothing. See? See, there you go. That's you you're giving in to those who would shame the noble word, the noble profession that is the janitorial services. In, in all fairness, I'm pretty sure I'm quoting Dave Chappelle from Half Baked when he's like, I'm not a janitor, I'm a custodial serviceman. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. So, oh, okay, we cleared it. Yeah. Well, we just gotta wait for the trader to open back up. I know, right? Go back. Okay, there you go. There we go. Let's see what it would take. About... I can tell you're just kind of tapping the keys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to like, I'm like, what does it take to match? It's like a rhythm game. It's a rhythm game at this point. Timing it to your pedal speed. <laughs> That's what I was, I was literally trying to like match your pedal speed and see if that could be the basis. Apparently, you are being chased by a. Uh, oh no, you're being chased by a. Whatever the fuck those jumpers are. No. God, the flaming bat is possibly one of the coolest things ever. It's, you know, it's a nice touch. It's a pleasant weapon to use. Nice spiked flaming baseball bat. God damn. It's, it's definitely the way to go. It's just, it's, it's, it's a pleasant experience. It's nice, it's quick, it's snappy. You know, it may take a couple of hits, but whatever, you know. I don't do the no normal swing. It's all power attacks, so... I, I have to find a... Okay, this is going to be weird to say online. Sorry if this is on your stream. I have to find a non-toxic accelerant and, like, leave my baseball bat soaking in it 24-7 so when a guy breaks in my house, not only do I pull a bat on him, but I just immediately light it up on fire and I'm like, you've picked the wrong fucking house, bro. It would be an interesting thing. De I, mean, I mean, a baseball bat's probably going to be enough in most situations. Yeah. Oh, I know. I just want that one moment where he's like, did I fucking break in on fucking Azrael Angel of fucking Chaos? I would be impressed if a thief breaking into your house even knew what the fucking Azrael was. Sure. Good. Okay. All right. I think it's because my girlfriends are watching Game of Thrones and there's that guy with a fire sword and I'm like literally the only thing I like in this show. Dude with fire sword. You just put that motherfucker down. Yep. I is sniper. <laughs> good eye, sniper. Sniping's a good job, mate. Oh. Bro, don't do that. I already spent my whole night fucking chasing a UK accent. That was the worst. That was Australian. Yeah, that was. I'm just being a fucking idiot. Alright, um... Is it 
Team Fortress 2 reference. That's true. Oh my god, it's been so long. Tools. Hunger. Oh, I got a chainsaw too. Ooh. So we have a level 6 chainsaw and a level 6 auger. Nice. I put a uh, auger uh, schematic into the books thing and a machete schematic for anyone else that wants bladed weapons. Cool. Um, should I switch from the knife to the machete? Um, I don't think it really matters. Is there like a Unless difference? you want the damage. Well, that's, I'm just saying, like, I, I use it for hunting. Like, that's, that's mostly, I just take down a deer from time to time. When we go in the cold, like, I'm specced out. I could do bears and mountain lions and shit like that, too. Like, it's, you know, we just keep us in meat and fat and shit like that. Now, is that purely on gears or, like, an RPG system of level up as well? No, there's, there's perks. Okay. Uh, they'll steal everyone's catalytic converter before they break into your apartment, says Girly Bear. <laughs> in all fairness, I do live in like a shit house apartment. So if they're here to rob, they're probably here to rob everyone in the building to make a hundred bucks. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll learn how to make the machete and just see because um, all right, we'll figure it out. Oh, good! Three treasure maps. That will make us a fair amount of cash and ammo and guns, as always. Um, yeah, axe goes in tools. That feels right. Um, is there anything else that goes in here? No, not that I think so. So, part. Yeah, baton parts, dude. Fucking, why do they even give those to us? <laughs> I, I, I know Cat has told me before that like the stun baton at high levels with certain things. I, I'm completely fucking like basically like god mode over here and still those. I've tried a level six stun baton. It still is fucking. I, I don't get it. I think he means you have to like level up into the. Uh, like, I have the stun baton perks. Yeah, I have all that. Oh shit, really? Yeah, dude, I'm fucking, dude, I'm specced. Uh, that's right. <laughs> I'm specced, man. Like, it's just. You found the exploit. Yeah, like, I'm specced. So, like, it, like, I have all that shit, man. And it's just, it's just, it's, just, it's like, dude, I've, I've used the batons. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh. So. Let's see. Oh, that's a book. Weapon flashlight mod. <laughs> Fuck it. Anybody wants to learn how to make those. Oh, I found a machete part. Let's see. Interesting. Oh, let's. All right, mods. Um, let's see. I got a reflex sight. I got a vehicle supercharger mod. Increases vehicle acceleration and top speed. I mean, that's clearly vehicular bullshit. Um, God, again, I hear them out there. Ugh. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Yeah, you were kind of slow on that one. Back to what we were doing before we were so rudely interrupted. Oh, good. We're back up to 10 cooking pots. I was concerned. Oh, God. There's somebody else uh, out there. Yeah. Damn it. Ooh. All right. For sure my phone ringing was uh, my girlfriend calling. Thank you. Have a good night. 
Good night. Night. Yeah, still in fucking midnight mode. Wait. <laughs> I was talking to you guys when I was like, oh, my girlfriend for sure just called me, and the guy at the, the, guy at the debonair looked up at me, and I'm like, uh, sorry, bud. Not you. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we both, Caboose and I both instinctually said good night to you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and I just, I just embarrassed I said goodnight because it's fucking like 6.30 a.m. Jesus Christ. Just fucking, don't leave us be. Zombies are so rude. My senses have picked up something. Oh God, there's another one. Um, yeah. I'm not excited for this. My girlfriend's such a boomer. I'm gonna get home and she's gonna be like, Oh my god, why were you late? Were you hooking up? And it's like, you know, I just walked for two hours. Can we not get into this right now? Which, you know, if I had ever cheated on her, I would totally understand that coming up. But it comes up a lot for, like, a completely fucking stable relationship where I've done nothing. I found an eight-pack of time charges. Um. Wow. What is Gordon Ramsay's favorite Disney film? Oh, it's fucking fro Frozen. Ah, oh, non-binary. <laughs> Singing in the shower is all fun and games until you get shampoo in your mouth. Then it becomes a soap opera. Uh, I'm really glad that he's single-handedly keeping the like 1960s joke book catalog alive. Uh, Caboose, I don't know if you're using heavier light armor, but if you're using light, here's some, like, uh, level 6 military legs in armor. God, fucking... Is anything else out here? Anybody? Alright, fine. Uh, non-binary says my pronouns are they, them, and she. So you know. Okay. Girly says, so there's no Ubers out there? I mean, there is, but the problem is you need, like, a, a credit card to sign up, and I'm poor, poor. There you go, girly bear. There's your answer. I mean, that's the thing is like, yeah, I got paid. I have like, I have my welfare check. It's the first of the month. It's direct deposit. I definitely have money, but uh, I don't have a credit card. So I'll, I'm like completely blocked off from doing any of that shit. Damn. What is that called again? Like, uh, there's a name for it when you like are, are locked out of access just by like a small nominal fee or something that's like kicks poor people out. The poverty trap? I believe, yeah, it's something like that. There we go. Seriously. I mean, lady. Most people live paycheck to paycheck. I get my paycheck, it's gone in a week, and like I am living like not even paycheck to paycheck. I am I'm I'm barely surviving at best. Which is why I do comedy, and it's such a riot. Um. There we go. A week? Non-binary says a week, you lucky bastard. I mean, yeah, I definitely, definitely understand that, uh, some people do even less than me. The, the thing is, a lot of I don't know if you in America have like a welfare program the same way no, I do. Non-binary is um, Britain, UK. Okay, so I I know even less about that welfare system. I get mine, uh, pay my bills, and I'm left with a pound. Jesus. Yeah, I'm on the same track. My uh, my rent is uh, seven fifty, and my welfare check is seventy seven seventy six. Give me those numbers again. I'm stoned. <laughs> my rent is seven fifty. My welfare check is seven seventy six a month. Okay, a month. Oof. Yep. 
That's not much more. But if I, you know, you know what I fucking love? If I go to French classes, they'll give me that that exact amount of money every two weeks. I take the French classes. I did for a little while, got a little bit of a boost, and then um, after I realized is that like uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's it's so fucking hard living with depression because there's so many things people are like, like oh why don't you just do this? It's easy. It's like because I'd rather be fucking dead than do that. And they're like can't really help you there, bud. And I'm like yeah, it's almost like I have a mental illness. So what's the pursuit of that in your system? What, um, how does one gain access to services and help and assistance for such things? Uh, we have, um, we have welfare offices all over the city, but that was a nightmare too, because, uh, Quebec hasn't updated any of its Google listings. So when Harper was in power right before Trudeau, they closed several of those offices. So for a while, I was jumping around, bouncing around the city, finding a bunch of closed offices that hadn't been used in years before I found the actual welfare office that works. And then uh, went through months with them of trying to figure out, like, they, they got me, like, a medical checkup. I did a whole bunch of shit, jumping through a bunch of hoops, bringing them all this information. I had to, like, a friend of mine who is, like, a career criminal ex-crackhead she signed my papers as literally John Doe roommate <laughs> to get me more money. <laughs> of course, in Quebec, John Doe means nothing to them, so they were like, oh, John Doe, great. And I was like, Trina, you lunatic. Um, and then uh, they finally gave me welfare. I brought my... Like, I, they, they gave me welfare, but for the first few months, it was, oh, like, do you want to go to French school? Do you want us to find you a job? How long do you want to be on welfare? And so the next part of the battle became get seen by a doctor, get seen as medically depressed, tell them that it's based on literal capitalism. I do not want to be a cog until I die. And there is no such thing as retirement anymore. So that's my only option. And the doctors were like, okay, well, there is no cure for capitalism. And I'm like, yeah, there isn't. And so they just wrote me, I, I, this is a whole other story, but they wrote me like a medical clearance that was supposed to get me like 1,300 every month. But Quebec, like, there was more loops I had to jump through to get that finalized and kept like flatly forever. Then coronavirus happened and like no doctors or hospitals would see anybody for anything but an emergency for two years. So I have to get back on that grind again if I want to get medical welfare. Well, that seems like a pain in the ass. Yep. Especially when you don't have a lot of drive to exist, and they're just like, can you just run through all this red tape a hundred times a week? And I'm like, I, come on, guys, you're not, non, do we not remember why I'm here? Non-binary. I have questions about how, like, because, yeah, you work, right? Like, what does your welfare system look like that, like, because you're saying like, I should have a new job, though, shortly interview tomorrow. If I can, if we can get my suit dry clean today, I'll get a 6,000 boost. Uh, I'm upgrading my employer. Like, what does that look like on your side of the pond? Because 55 hours a week now. Like, how does that, how are you on, like, how are you on welfare? Like, what is, like, what, I, I don't, like, I thought, like, it's, Jesus, fuck. How fucked up is it over there? How, how mm -hmm. bad are my misconceptions? How, how completely divorced from reality is my perception of your system? Like, because I feel, I feel like I there's some shit coming my way that I'm like, Jesus Christ, I didn't think it was that fucked up. Um, how is that? I need help me out. Uh, Girly Bear Sarah says our welfare sucks in my country. Single adults can only get like three fifty cash for three months plus food stamps ongoing. Uh, that sounds that sounds like uh, Girly. Is that somewhere else? But that sounds like us. Oh, in my county. Sorry, not country. In my county. Yeah, $350 for three months plus food stamps ongoing. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like America's misconception yeah. of what reality is like. Yeah, it's, dude, it's, dude, our, our system's just whatever. I can't believe it's 350 for three months in food stamps, and yet Republicans are like, these people are leeching off the system. Bro, I get, 
Solano. Everyone in Canada gets paid twice that every month. No subscription. Apparently it's date. Solano like, County, it's not California. In Interesting. Um, yeah. I, dude, I... Oh, uh, I know the anarchists don't want to hear it, but I really do. Like, dude, I, I'm, I'm willing to like. I want to call this like a, a, a Gorsian gamble. Like this French go- socialist, like Frank, Frank Gore, said this idea that like basically you could like, you could use state to dismantle state if you're crafty enough about it. Hmm. And like, it's just like okay, it's like. Yeah, you know what? We should expand the welfare state. We should health care for all, all the sort of stuff. And then we should use that downtime to like feed back into dual power structure activism and shit like that. That you can, you're like, look, if you're not concerned about your health care, if you're not concerned about being evicted, if you're not concerned about like, you know, putting, like starving to death, then like housing health care. And like basic, like if you can start taking care of all of this sort of stuff, that leaves a lot of time for some conversations because that's the stuff that nobody wants to. Like well, we don't have time for that. Well, now you have time for it. Let's talk. Can we do some shit finally? That's honestly that's that's speaking my language. I, I like that so much. It's just you you have to keep your eye on the ball the whole fucking time that like look the, the whole point of this is to not <laughs> is to give us the breathing room necessary mm-hmm. to actually construct something else this isn't this isn't downtime. Hey, it's one of the reasons I'm I'm better at not disassociating from like my political opinion. Where sometimes I used to be like, oh, am I like, am I even championing something good? Maybe the right wing. And I'm not saying in the sense of like, oh, like I could go right wing, but like, I don't know. Do they think they're saying nice stuff about people the way we? I think we're saying nice stuff about people. But like, going through stuff like you just mentioned, I'm literally like, nah, man, they're fucking assholes. It's not our side. Now, we definitely have dicks on our side, that's gonna happen. But like, holy shit, for the most part, we genuinely just wanna give people time to breathe. And it's crazy that right-wingers are like, oh, you're trying to destroy the world. Bitch, we're trying to get you more money too. The fuck are you talking about? Oh, there we go, what did I hit? There we go. All right, Uh, pumpkin plant, and one potato, cool. Uh, what do we harvest? 10 chrysanthemums, 3 golden rods, 10 hops, 21 pumpkins, 8 blueberries, some coffee, 26 aloe leaves, 7 cotton, 3 yucca, 11 potatoes, 13 super corn, and 50 ears of corn. Do we're going to just start grilling up some ears of corn? Yeah, I was going to say super corn? What is it? What are you, harvesting America? <laughs> it's, it's, uh... It's used in making glue, Grandpa's awesome sauce, which, um, uh, fucking, oh, it's a traitor. It's a barter increase. And Grandpa's moonshine, which is damage resistance, melee damage, uh, a whole bunch of other resistances and and stuff. Uh, also glue, if I didn't mention that. But, yeah. It's an ingredient. I've got a bad feeling about this. God. Uh, Alright, grill corn on the cob. I'm just gonna cook these. Yeah, we're just gonna cook those. Oh man. Okay, I wanna say thank you to you guys, because you kept me busy during this insanely long walk home, but I just fucking got here. I'm gonna go slam into my bed and ignore my girlfriend. a Atta- boy. Alright, I'll catch you later, man. Good luck. Yeah, thanks very much for uh, keeping me company, Caboose and Kai. I appreciate it very much. No uh, you're, problem. You're welcome. Um, also, I'm going. Oh, my battery's to... dying too. <laughs> Sleep well, man. Good luck with, the f- good luck with the girlfriend. <laughs> eh, it's not that bad. I just like to bitch out a lot about it. Yeah. Have a good night, y'all. Later. Um, and I'm going to raid out to public. Um. 
Glory world ten. Wait, okay, so non-binary. I'm one of the millions of people who work and are not able to pay <laughs> bills, rent, or other basics. Minimum wage in the UK is nine pounds fifty an hour. Jesus Christ. Really? It's kind of a shit show on a global scale at this point, isn't it? Feels like it. All right. You guys are going to hear my dog. Good night. Later. Good night. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I thought he laughed already. <laughs> What's going on? All right. I am in the process of raiding out the public. And... Is that our new doggy? What are they playing? No, wobble dogs. They're playing wobble dogs, whatever Disgusting. wobble dogs is. <laughs> Apparently, but there's mutations. The first time I've heard of it. There's mutations and shit. So, it should be at least worth looking at, I would imagine. <laughs> oh, wobble dogs. No, no, no. This wasn't it. It was shit. All right.